Hello to the gamers. Welcome. Welcome back. Can I tell you something that happened to me this weekend? Like many people, I have a group chat with uh, friends of mine who are scattered about the world now. We were all connected together for a brief period in college. I was just shooting the, the smack in the group chat, right? And I was talking to a, a friend of mine in there, and I was, uh, you know, he was talking about how his life's going. I was talking about how my life's going. I was talking about how I'm a little burned out on um, parenting, a little light on free time lately. And he started talking to me like very, you know, I've been friends with this guy for 20 years. And he started saying things like, you know what, like, don't forget that the work you do is like very valuable. And like, you've helped a lot of people and it's like a noble cause and stuff like that. And I was kind of like, why is this guy? I mean, like, he's not being a... Uh, Rude, if anything, he's just being so nice that, like, the vibe was a little bit different than it normally is. But I was like, it's, it's fine. We were talking about life. A couple hours later, bing bong, check the group chat, and I'm looking for my messages. And I'm like, what the hell? None of my four hours of messages were in the group chat. Where did they go? Turns out, homie was in the DMs with me. I thought that I was in the group chat, and thus the vibe was a little bit more casual. But from his perspective, I DM'd him out of the blue and was like, hey, I'm having a rough time right now, which is not even the tone of what it was, but I think that's how he had to take it. <laughs> Pretty good, right? I was, I was laughing. I, I told the group chat, I was like, hey, I've been talking to this guy for, you know, like two and a half hours on and off while my daughter's in between classes and stuff. Uh, I didn't even realize that I wasn't in the group chat. I was wondering why nobody else was chiming in. I thought it was a great conversation. But I was like, man, I must be making the vibe like super off because he's given me like the don't kill yourself sort of conversation. <laughs> and I was just sort of like, ah, I'm, I'm doing all right. But like, it'd be nice to have an hour and I have to play Balatro sometimes. Good friend though yeah he was telling me like don't don't do anything rash join a rec softball league and stuff like that he was pulling out all the stops and i was like man i think i'm okay also i thought i had a great classic joke groucho mark style and i i rolled a nat one on my charisma again saturday kate was like do we have any frozen dumplings left i said yeah we got some she said can you make it for me i said yeah no problem husband of the year we had five left in the bag, pan-fried five beautiful dumplings. She ate three and a half and then said, you can have the rest. Out of nowhere, I said, if I'd known you weren't that hungry, I would have cooked more. I thought it was a 10 out of 10. I thought that was a classic all-ages joke that anyone age 8 to 80 could laugh at. She hit me with a huh, and I said, do you get it? And she said, oh, and I went, ah. I did think it was pretty good, Fokker. I, it must have been the delivery. What brand? You know we rep on that BB Go. Maybe if you had some hair. This, but unironically. It'll hit another time. I just got to think about the delivery. But also, I'm tired of changing my delivery. Like, if my joke doesn't hit, like, why do we always act like it's the comedian's fault? Why can't it be the audience's fault? Sorry, I guess you just weren't astute enough to pick up on what the punchline was there. Sometimes I think the receivers gotta adjust themselves. If you're fucking hopped up on crystal meth and then you go see like a like a quiet ass movie and you're like oh it's a little boring that's your fucking fault dude you should have been drunk or on an edible or something similarly if you go see hardcore henry and you took a, an edible like an hour and a half before the movie started and you're like ah, i kind of fell asleep that's on you man you should have taken crystal meth maybe i don't know i've never done it and i never will and neither should you You agree the audience needs to watch the movie? What do you what do you mean by that? At the movies, the audience should watch the movie? Is that what Is that what you're talking about?
Yes, is this? I didn't see this discourse. I did. I I thought I landed a ten out of ten joke in Chibli's chat too. Um, he said he's been playing TFT lately and he loves it. And I said, of course, it's the perfect Gen Z game. All you do every round is spend all your money and then watch the game play itself. Minus two, minus two, minus two. TFT is my co-regulating device. TFT is my comfort game. Fuck you, man. I'm throwing out pearls and, and getting swine in return. Anyway, Bandle today is par one and it's bullshit. Okay, okay, one second. 2014, 3.4 billion views. It's Roar by Katy Perry. Nope. Here's a little ditty about Jack and Diane. Yeah, yeah. I just need to hear that. We are young. Is this we are young? Fun, we are young. Nope. Okay, we go again. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a bum, got a bum full of boo boo. <laughs> I'm going to know it, bro. It's Paco Bell's canon, right? This has got the Neptune's DNA all over it. My father said to burn you, gonna live your life right. Oh, daddy dear, I'm not the fortunate one, but girls, they want to have fun. Something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Starbucks lovers who say, I mean, so I've got a blank space baby, and I'll write your name. I know it. I know it. Please get it before the hint. I, empty area, that's a tough one. She does say Starbucks lovers, right? All those Starbucks lovers who think that I'm insane. Star, she says star-crossed lovers? I thought she was kind of like dunking on a coffee shop. Me after watching the social network, walking into Starbucks and talking to the barista. Hey, lose the star. It's cleaner. What? White boy walks into Starbucks and orders in perfect Italian. <laughs> Bucks coffee. <laughs> in stunning economic news, the Starbucks Corporation wiped out $37 billion in economic value today with one simple pen stroke. I'm pretty sure it's Starbucks lovers. That's right, because she's kind of dunking on them, right? She says... And then the Starbucks lovers who think that I'm insane. It's long list of ex-lovers. Long list of ex-lovers who think that I'm insane. Dude, it's Starbucks lovers. And you love the game. You just lost the game, by the way, and you're breathing manually. Get owned. Okay, I'm not doing Joker list to start today. We need to like farm some morale first. It's that simple. Best way to farm morale? Yeah, sure. Let's do like some difficult stakes. I'll tell you. Wait, wait. We'll try a painted deck. Do I want it minus one Joker slot plus two hand size? A little spooky. Let's give it a try at least. Why not? Hi Tomo. Could you could you chill? I'll take the economic pay here. Hmm, suit me. Hi, buddy. You wouldn't know it, but he ignored me like all weekend. Soon as the stream starts, you know what it is? 
It's B word, don't kill my vibe. You can see that my website found me and put me on stages. To you, that's a quick check with no dis... I see you, you're, you're hungry for fame, right, Tomo? You clout chaser? Well, you got, you got one chance, brother. You got one chance. What do you want to say? What do you want to say to the people? Yeah, nothing? Okay, that's what I thought. The lights were brighter than I expected. Tomo's quote on Bleacher Report tomorrow. Hmm. Y'all got me on Balatro and I'm hooked, brother. I got a... F oh, I've, I've screwed up my, my DPI. There we go. I've got a fever and the only cure is more Balatro. Hey, by the way, I have to give props to SNL. This is why I say there's no heuristics in life, okay? Or no, no perfect heuristics, at least. The Beavis and Butthead sketch. Skitch? The Beavis and Butthead Stitch? The Beavis and Butthead Sketch. <laughs> funny. It was a fun, incredibly funny. I don't know if I'd go that far, but here's what I would say. I laughed, and also, it was a, the aura coming off the screen was so powerful that I, I regret saying that I'm sick of Ryan Gosling. Ryan Reynolds, I stand by it, but... Ryan Gosling presented a very likable tone when he was on... Well, I only saw that sketch, but still. He might have the sauce. I'm starting to think this guy might make it. Hey, hey, hey! Can I have, like, something not bad? Ghost Pepper, Ghost Pepper, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Roll in... Endless, et eternal jokers that suck. I might as well buy. We can hold that for later. Okay. A thousand chips. Hmm. One, AKA one serving of veggie straws. Brother, brother, work with me here. You just got to give me one club. I can make it work for now. You got to give me a joker though. Did you enjoy Tiger Woods shaking the tree's hand? I mean, you're going to turn me into a hater. Okay, it's garbage. It's still garbage. I got a lot of thoughts on golf for somebody who's never seen it, okay? Um, or never seen much of it. I have previously said that I respect the baldness horseshoe, okay? That's a big joker. That's a big joker right there. That is very helpful. Um, but I'm willing to say that I was wrong in this one specific case, Tiger Woods has got to shave his head, man. And I'm just, cause like, it, it's not even about him at this point. When you become a public figure, a, a sports deity on the level of, of Tiger Woods, it's not about you anymore, I'm sorry to say. It's about me, it's about me. The author in this situation has has died and the consumer is the person who has ownership over the property. Tiger Woods can't look old because that makes me feel old. It's that simple. So if he would just, sh I think if he shaved his head, he would get the aura back, man. Because right now, he, he, I just, I, I feel like... He's going out there, he's not presenting a the the avatar of a golfer that should be feared. He's given like I mean he knows that he's going bald. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be rude to the guy. Two dollars for a rare joker, rare situation where this is incredible. Okay, actually, I mean if it copy smear joker, I'd be a little disappointed, but. I'm just saying, he can do whatever he wants. I'm just saying it makes me feel old to see Tiger Woods looking his age, which is not fair to Tiger because we all go through it. But what about George Clooney? I see those Nespresso ads. He's chilling, man. Ain't nothing wrong with George Clooney's hairline. 
Nah, he looked legit terrible at the Masters. You see how hard it is to be a man in today's society? Bro's literally there playing golf, and yet we can't resist critiquing, like, his... His avatar, man. People will never understand. You started it? Yeah, I know. What's your, what's your point? You should get hair plugs together. If Tiger wanted to go to Turkey with me, I'd get some hair plugs with Tiger Woods. Be a heck of a story, at least. <sighs> Sorry, it's not, it's not called hair plugs anymore. It's called a hair system. Do they still... They look good these days, don't get me wrong. Do they still take it from your butt? Because I kind of feel like with the amount of money that it costs to get a hair system, can't they just take it from somebody else's head, head of hair instead of my own ass? Like, I feel, whose head? I should be able to choose, man. Isn't it like 20 grand? They take it from the back of your own head? They're robbing Peter to, play, to pay Paul? Is that what you're saying to me? Seven dollars. Sean, Sean Connery under trying to buy uh, Arizona iced tea in Joe Biden's America? Seven dollars. What the shit is this? The can says 99 cents. 99 cents. <laughs> you don't like that one? Sean Connery it, it, this is reincarnated and disturbed by the inflation. It's plus two. Sean Connery cooking... Uh, Sean Connery from Highlander 2 cooking a buffalo wings recipe. Frank's Red Hot Shush. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, it's James Burns. Yes. It's me. Oh my god, Gershbump Sparks. I'm, I don't know if my Sean Connery impression is working. I'm trying. I'm trying. Sometimes you just, this is what it's like to be in the writer's room, I imagine. You just throw out enough bad ideas and eventually they're repeated enough that it sounds funny. And then they, they relent and say, fine, that'll be the lead sketch. And there you go. You got 90 minutes of content on Saturday Night Live. I don't want to play Ride the Bus. It's too easy. I don't want to play Abstract Joker because I'd rather get a sale early. I think we we can go one more round without buying something. It's timing. I would love Abstract Joker in most circumstances. I can't process this. <laughs> I think we just dump these. And then like... Oh, brother. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Now. <laughs> Huge diamond flush. Diamond crooks is taking over. All right, now you're ready to pop. Let's see if we get a great joker first. Fuck you, man. I just really don't want it to be smeared Joker. I, it's something, like it could be worse. Minus one hand per round, I can live with it, it gives us more time. Let's see what's going on in this Mega Arcana. Space Joker is like the, the biggest bait that's ever existed in gaming history. I think you, you take your six bucks, then you go Emperor, Chariot Hierophant, I'm a feminine lesbian Eminem. You go, Chariot can only work on one card, that's fine. Give me a Fool for an- oh no, 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 first you gotta use Chariot. Put it there. Mmm, that's right. 
that's still okay, but that's not what I wanted specifically. Okay, let's see the, the true power of Metal Gear. Chapel Roan reference? Um, did Chapel Roan exist before this weekend? I feel like I'd never heard of Chapel Roan in my entire life. And the Twitter algorithm has served me 17,000 tweets about her. She must have played Coachella. It's, it's not what I want, but it's what I got. She did indeed play Coachella. Did she take a shit in the mother toilet? That Grimes then had to clean up? Minus two, minus two, she had tech problems. You understand what it's like. Listen, brother. I'm just disturbing shit. I'm a shit disturber. Anyone here that was at Coachella this weekend? Holy cow, hang on one moment. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, I was there. Get him, chat. Get him! Alright, chat. Everyone's been asking. I've resisted getting into this because it's kind of a problematic question. They say, NL, where do you stand on this dilemma? Would you rather have a Burning Man son or a Coachella daughter? <sighs> I feel like I'd rather have a Coachella daughter. To be honest. Because I think that at least at Coachella, they're just having fun. Burning Man is like, it's not just a festival, it's like a transformative retreat that is like, this is the way that society could actually be. And then you come back from there and go back to your job, like, securing venture capital funding for DoorDash 3.0 or whatever. Man, fuck you. I have a friend who went to Burning Man. I like him! I don't like the fact that he went to Burning Man, but people are multifaceted. You could say, hey, fuck this part of you, the rest of you's invited. Hypothetically, <laughs> if we put a fucking red seal on two eights and then play a pair of eights, do we get two planet triggers? I love that you already knew where I was going to go with that one and you were like, that's stupid. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's pretty dumb. Red, red seal king always goes crazy. You're right. You never know. Maybe Baron shows up later. You think Dennis Morton's ever been to Burning Man? Absolutely, but here's the thing. I don't think Dennis Morton would ever talk about it. I think instead of talking about it... Oh, this is good. Okay, my daughter wants a hug for me. One moment, please. One moment. All right, chat, bring it in, bring it in. Your daughter's not in school. She's three and a half. She doesn't start school for five months, five months. Honestly, I feel like you need to become a club so that I can at least get the malt. We might just be completely screwed.
Hi, honey. Whoa, what is that? A pug with headphones on? Where did we get that? In your coat pocket? Did you take it from daycare? Why don't you show it to the camera, honey? <laughs> here, here, put it right here. Whoop. A pug with headphones. Very cool. I don't know where it came from, honestly. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't steal it from the drugstore, did you? <laughs> Oh, maybe it came from a Happy Meal. Mm. That's Coachella daughter. I should have saved more cards. I should have saved. I should have. I should have gotten more bonus cards to work on my flush, bro. Let's be honest. We're cooked. We're cooked unless we get uh, maybe a Jupiter here. Congrats, honey. Yeah, I don't think a straight flush is going to save us either. A full house might, but it's kind of got to be with, like, non-debuffed cards. Yeah, I think we just go again. Send it. TwitchCon son or Coachella daughter? I mean, you already know the answer. It's Coachella daughter. Because she's just normal. <laughs> No disrespect. I met many great people at TwitchCon. I did. You wouldn't catch me at Coachella, though. That's interesting. You might catch me at Hillside. Am I right, fellow Gu what, what, What's the demonym, librarian? What's the demonym for a person from Guelph, Ontario? A Guelph fight? I'm not even trying to be funny. I just, that's, that seems like the most logical. Guelphian? It is Guelphite. Holy cow. English is crazy because I never learned that. And there's no rules in English, brother. I tried to tear the Wright brothers off the ceiling. And yet still, it just sounds right. Like Guelphite sounds right. Why'd you ask librarian? They know how to find relevant information fast. Anyway, we go next. I don't even remember why I was talking about it. Why was I, why was I talking about Guelph? Oh, because of the Hillside Music Festival. You catch me at Hillside. Seeing Green Go or Library Voices or Japan Droids or like the Arkells before they sold out the CTV. Yeah, yeah, you can catch me there. There's no doubt about that. We go next. I saw Japan droids at Pat's Pub in 2007. Listen, are you talking about Pat's Pub? Wait, I was thinking of Ben's Pub. Sorry, I got confused. I probably was about to ask a question that wouldn't have made any sense. Good for the future. Otherwise, you know what? For five bucks, this enhances our chill, so we take it. Pat's Pub is on Hastings. That would explain why I've never been. I've been to Pub 340. That might be like trying to. That might be can be in Hastings, but it's not 100% my tempo. I'll give you that for free. Craziest part about NL is that he got a bio degree with no searching skills. Trust me, that's not the craziest part. Secondly, what the fuck are you talking about? craziest part of NL. I got a bio degree with no search. Would you, if you had 9,000 people that corrected everything you said, would you look stuff up instead of playing a video game? No, you'd be fucking, hey, Jamie, pull that up. Then if they're wrong, we blame them. We don't even blame me. Just because you don't have the, the same social resources as me, you think you're better than me because you got a fucking Google Scholar subscription that came free with your tuition? AKA came free with the purchase of $25,000. Make it make sense, bro.
Google Scholar's free for everyone. Yeah, for now, probably. What were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know, man. Go Guelph! Guelph! Guelph. Guelph, Guelph, it's a heck of a town. We are talking about Coachella daughter? I got nothing against the Coachella girlies. Why would I? They will not divide us. Some of the easiest money ever made. You know what? Negative two bucks. Let's do it. <clears throat> nothing yet. Holy cow. Ah! I'm okay. Hey, Anel, you seen any of the Fallout series yet? We need to criminalize unauthorized use of the word yet. I have not seen the Fallout series yet. Uh, I will never see the Fallout series in all likelihood. It's not uh, on my list of things to do. It's not a desire that I harbor in my cerebellum. It's, uh, it's merely yet another media property that I personally have no interest in uh, interacting with. It's good? Yeah, here's the, they're all good, basically. We're looking for something a cut above that. No, they aren't. They, they mostly are. And people are like, you know, 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, most television programs that come out these days get somewhere between an 80 and a 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. They, they give the reviewers the first three episodes. They pose interesting questions. And then with no answers, the reviewer is like, what am I supposed to do? I'm interested to see where the mystery goes. I got to give it a 6.1 so it gets that red tomato. Plus, it's playoffs soon. Are you listening to yourself? Also, I resent... I mean, this is a, this is a parent take, so I apologize. I'm starting to resent the binge model of television. You're gonna, you're gonna screw me on this one? Cause like, I thought Fallout honestly just came out. Like, didn't it just come out like last Monday? And then the finale came out like two days ago? And I'm like, the, the chance to be part of the cultural moment is now already gone. Like it, it was only in the discourse for like a week. No, it all came out on Wednesday. I was going to say even worse, but what do I care? Because <laughs> I'm not going to see it anyway. So I'm glad that you got to watch it all this weekend. That's great. I'm just saying you don't... There used to be like two... There's an echo in television. You would watch Everybody Loves Raymond, 8 p.m. CBS on Mondays. And then you would laugh your ass off and be like, it's the funniest show I've ever seen. And then you would go to school or work and you would talk about it with the co-workers and other students in your class. And that was like the, the, the second alarm of the two alarm chili of watching great TV. And you'd be like, oh, I wonder what, how the conflict between Marie and Deborah is going to shake out. And what's Raymond going to do? His allegiances are divided. Nowadays, it's like, I already saw the series finale. Marie dies. Fucking who cares? Everyone hates their co-workers now. I, I I worry that everybody like hates everybody now. Not everybody, but like some people. Did you see the discourse that popped up on Twitter because of like a completely in innocuous photo where the dude, the, the millennial, case in point, was he leaned down and he took a picture next to a pub sign that said like, no kids allowed, but please bring your dogs. And he was like, yeah. That I have no problem with. I described it as a, an innocuous photo. Some of the replies to it actually made me feel like the fundamental fabric of society is eroding. People were running a thought experiment that was like, if your pet and a stranger's child were drowning, which one would you save? And then people were like, the stranger's child, obviously, 
four likes, 100 replies. My dog, obviously, 17,000 likes, like 12 comments. And I'm like, what is going on here, man? Just save both. I reject me. I'm, I'm Michael Phelps. I reject the premise of the question. I would save both. Are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying like, if his, okay, Tomo's down here. If it's Ruka and it's some stranger's six-year-old and they're both getting pulled down by the undercurrent and I can only save one, Ruka, I gave you a good life. You're making a noble sacrifice. I'm, I'm going for the kid, man, 100%. Tomo, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Ruka's a strong swimmer. He can handle himself. Now, I'm not that... I can swim, but I'm not that good of a swimmer. So, like, it's possible that everybody involved is going to perish if I'm the one that has to try to save us. So I would really rather, like, somebody else did it, but if nobody else is there, then you got to do what you got to do, man. I'm not gonna lose. Not yet. Not gonna happen. These hypotheticals never happen though. You ever hear of a little thing called visualization? It's a foundational element of sports psychology. You at the damn firehouse. Bro, why are we going over what we would do in a fire? We're not in a fire right now. Why don't we just wait for the fire and like play it by ear? We need, we need some jokers, bro. You know what's crazy too? I don't mean this to be rude. And I like pets. I have pets myself. I guess I'm an asshole in a way because I just value human life higher. It's hard to admit that these days. People don't like comedy is illegal. That being said, what if it was your goldfish about to die of thirst or someone else's hamster about to drown? Who do you save? Because, I mean, well, I know, people are very attached to their dogs and their cats, don't get me wrong. And their Komodo dragons and shit like that. But once we get down in the goldfish territory, <laughs> guinea pig ter Like, I, my friend had guinea pigs growing up and it was not... Like, he would just come to class one day and be like, my guinea pig died. And you'd be like, yeah, that's sort of like... Oh, what happened this time? It's, I feel like guinea pigs, they don't die like noble deaths they always like get eaten by their family or you're like yeah i just woke up one day and like he exploded or something like that <laughs> sorry it's not funny i've never heard a story that was like my guinea pig died and it was like oh what happened and it was like oh you know we put him to sleep it was like always like he had something growing out of like the back of his head and then just one day i woke up and there was no head like it's it is, you're right, it is always some Final Destination shit. Like, he got his legs stuck in the wheel, and then, like, when, by the time I woke up, it was too late. <laughs> and? Well, I don't mean anything by it, I'm just making an observation, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just asking questions. I'm just putting the system on trial. Okay, let's be honest, 13 flushes, you're not going anywhere yet. 10 molts, you're giving us a little bit of money. But maybe we're okay financially, you are giving us 10 molt as well. E economic, I mean, you're both gone, at, so hopefully all three of you are gone at some point. But I think we gotta take a stab at this. Let's get rid of something that's not score related. Square Joker is useless for our, our current situation. brother I mean for $10 like 
I mean, I'll take it because I don't want to die. It's tempting to get a Molten Molter, but I'm going to wait on it. I think we can stall for a minute. Ten dollars popcorn. What is this? The movie? So true. So true. But hey, for, usually you'd have to be a fool to pay ten dollars for popcorn. What you got to do if you want to beat the system is get the combo where you pay sixteen dollars and you get ten dollars worth of popcorn and then a bunch of shit you don't want to begin with. Like a candy from the top two rows. The biggest scam in history. Put all the shitty candy in the top two rows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's popcorn, two drinks, and a candy. Oh, sick. Can I get the, the unwrapped Starburst minis? Oh, sorry. That's a row three candy. I know those row three and four candies have been sitting there for like two months. There's nobody's going up there going, give me the Jolly Ranchers gummies, okay? They're only getting them with the combos. There's tiered candy. They will divide us. Get it twisted. We are already divided. The fuck am I doing here, man? We got to make some better cards. We got to make some better motherfucking choices, dude. Take it easy, buddy. Dune 2 is down the hall. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. You going to see Monkey Man? Nope. I heard it was pretty good, though. I did hear it was pretty good. Hang on. What am what the what the hell am I doing here? Hearts become spades. Please tell me this isn't the boss that okay, that's fine. Cut non spades. Flushes are easier and then like look for some Empress cards or something, buddy. Let me see what spring looks like. Don Mercury and Earth. I'm probably going to see Dune 2 again. It is. It, it's cinema. It's cinema, man. Nothing else that needs to be said. Discord. I'm howling at the moon. Oh, man. I'm going to live. For sure. Yeah, I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Brother, you're ignoring 15 mults? Um, actually, I'm slow building Supernova. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Unless your mama, Jess Reverend Mother Jessica's Psychic fetus dipped in shy halud essence oil. Ass. Minus two, minus two. You wouldn't get it. All right. So what we die. So what we earn nothing. Never mind, we're chilling. You ever get absolutely blasted on doinkies? Um, not for quite some time. I'm assuming a doink is a marijuana cigarette. Is that correct? It's cannabis. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, sir. Can't afford. Can't afford. We're going to lose, guys. We're going to lose. Get it twisted. It's over. We have no scaling. It's done. It's already. It's written in stone. No, no, no. Just one super joker. When did you last eat pizza? Great question. Nuts on the table. Saturday, air fried leftover pizza to give to my daughter for lunch. I said, what do you want for lunch? She said, pizza. Put the pizza down in front of her. 
She said, I don't want pizza. I said, what do you want? She said, I want bread. Gave her a piece of bread. And I ate the pizza myself. Three hands lose all discards? Well, it's, it's something. It's something, brother. It's something. It's not what I want, but it's something. You should go for $5, please. And then it's like... 15 more, you're 10 more that lets me go in a motherfucking debt. I gotta think about this. Squam, squam, me, squam, me. Give me eight bucks. Pays for the pack at least. Good, good, good. Spade, empress me. Sell me, buy me, and then pray. Just pray. Just pray. We're gonna pray on this one. We got big hand size. I should be able to fairly easily make flushes, even if some of our hands are gonna be pure dog shit. <laughs> Is credit card Vagabond the best combo in Balatro? Um. I know one thing, Demujo, okay? It's very simple. When the guy who pretends to have all the answers in a domain comes in and asks a question, it's rhetorical. Don't answer the question, you will get into a trap. So you can't trick me into answering that question. You may have think that I've forgotten you, have not forgotten you. I was being sincere. Yeah, yeah, I bet you thought you were. I just don't see, with a hand size this big, I don't see blackboard happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the moon here and try to get some good cards. Give me a glass fucking two, man. Just try to stay alive. A steel seven. We got big hand size at least. This run is cooked. It is pretty fucking ass. It's not great, Bob. Not great. Oh right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> It's not, wait, well, we're gonna play a pair instead? It's not like six pairs were gonna get us there, let's be honest. You had seven hands? Seven high cards is not gonna get you 36,000 on that. You're, uh, you're anti-arithmetic posting. You need to use your phone to calculate a tip. Please do not compare us. Suit me. I use my smartwatch. That's crazy, bro. You put that shit on your wrist? Did you buy the AI pin? Who calculates a tip? I just round up. Disgusting. You can't admit that. If you tweeted that, people would come to your house and beat you to death, probably. We have to. It must be done. I was kidding, I live in Europe. I walked right into that one. That's what, they, what stings the most is that I walked right into it. I got owned twice. You know what, brother? If you're gonna force my hand here, then I'm gonna play my hand here. We're not gonna do tipping discourse, okay? It just it happens all the time. The Europeans are smug enough. We got we don't have to give them any extra fodder, okay? This looks familiar. <laughs> Gotta take it though. It's pretty good. Has anyone ever tried to leave a negative tip? Like, does it actually work? Like, if you needed to make a down payment on a house, could you go get, like, a Stella Artois and tip, like, negative $150,000? <laughs> and then, like, I'm sure you're not gonna get away with it forever, okay? But... Probably that it's a system that works on trust, right? So they probably just give you the 150 grand on your card 
Then you go use that to pay for the down payment. And what are they going to do? There's no, um, like, the, the Visa doesn't have the capabilities to easily claw back your house from you. It would take years. They put it on 7% interest, though. That's called a mortgage, brother. With the rates at, at Jerome Powell levels right now. Hmm. Clubs. He's trying his best. I'm trying to I'm trying to get water from a stone here. I already burned all my anecdotes at the start of the stream. I saw a TikTok where they do that to buy a property to Airbnb. Those TikToks are like my version of you know, like in A Quiet Place, part one, where they have all those shots of the loose nail sticking up on the staircase. And for like the whole movie, whenever someone comes down the stairs with a laundry basket, you're like, oh, shit, fucking watch out for that nail. That's all the TikToks where people are like, two years ago, I only owned one house and now I own 20. Here's my secret. And then the secret is either like creating a, an LLC for $20 online and then just lying about how much revenue it has and getting endless like loans from the bank or just um, like leveraging a place that you don't own that you have a mortgage on as collateral for a new place then using that place as collateral for a new place and you're like now it's a little longer to play out than a quiet place, which is like two hours and a little bit, if I had to guess. But I don't know. I'm wishing them the best of luck or whatever. I saw a quiet place this weekend. It was Blur's set at Coachella. So true. I saw it. I mean, I wasn't there, but I saw the, the Twitter video. Plus two. It's so easy to just get a plus two for referencing something. Sad, man. Sad. Yeah, I like Blur. I enjoy Blur. Would I, would I be singing Girls and Boys if I was in front of stage at Coachella? No, I wouldn't. It's not because I don't know the words. That's track one on Park Life. It goes fucking girls and boys. Tracy Jacks is definitely number two. I don't know what's number three. I'm going to say maybe it's uh, a head by, uh, not a head by a century, but end of the century. Is that it? I don't know. But I would be there enjoying it. I don't think you have to sing to enjoy the music. Like, why do I have to show the artists that I have appreciation for them, bro? Like, I paid 500 bucks to be here. And now I've got an expectation that I can't just enjoy myself. Like, I got to actually, like, put on a facade so Damon Albarn doesn't throw a temper tantrum? Just sing the song, buddy. Just shut up and dribble. <laughs> People in the U.S. don't know Blur anyway. Oh, you mean the Gorillaz side project? On this one, we're, we're going to the fucking moon, bro. Blur have half a good song. They actually have like two great albums. Just because you have a clock radio growing up, it's sad that you feel like that makes you like an authoritative source or whatever, but you could you could get away with that in some other chats. Around here, we'll, we'll keep you honest. You're going to find that. Woohoo song. POV, your music taste was foundationally created by beer commercials in the year 2000. Okay, welcome to the cool clubs. We got Oasis heads in here. I mean, if you hate Blur, but like Oasis. I don't even think I need to finish the sentence. It's not, nothing nice is going to be at the end of the sentence. Let's put it that way. What about neither? Okay, we all know you love slow dive, okay? That's not my problem. Stop making it my problem. Mm. 
$2 for $7. Call it a bargain, the best we've ever had. Oasis Sun or, or Blur Daughter? Blur Daughter, 100%. It's not even close. It's not even up for discussion. We're flush pilled. We're Costco guys. Of course we play flushes. <laughs> I don't pick the daughter every time. I'm just like, the way that we structure the joke is we make the son more detestable and the daughter is just like having a good time. I mean, Oasis son. That's, that's a nasty combo. Oasis daughter, I feel like you can sort of get away with. You know, if the dude pulls out an acoustic guitar and plays Wonderwall at the function, everybody's 20 years old, you can swoon a little bit as part of the culture. But like, you pass your, your 21 year old friend the ox cord and he puts on like champagne supernova or something like that, you gotta be like, come on brother. Shouldn't you be into like, you know, Grinder Man or something? Bore the boredoms? Like you're, you're, you're single in 21, you spend 12 hours a day online and you're listening to fucking Ed Sheeran? You're supposed to be getting twisted, bro. It's your last chance. You should be into some weird stuff, okay? You shouldn't be getting past the ox cord and putting on Shawn Mendes. That's crazy. What are you doing with your time if not going down some kind of cultural rabbit hole online? You're really sitting there at your computer 10 hours a day listening to like iHeartRadio.com? That's insane. It's unhinged. Wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind. I'm, d I'm dumping clubs in, in this? I'm dumping clubs in this world? Come on. We can't be dumping clubs. We gotta be dumping hearts, holding clubs, making a diamond flush that then allows us to play a club flush. Queen son or Beatles daughter? These are, these are false dilemmas. Not because the premise is, is unfound, but rather because it's an obvious one. Beatles' daughter, bro. Beatles' daughter. What the fuck? I'm sorry, the Beatles are better than Queen. I got nothing against Queen anymore. Queen doesn't have a fucking Abbey Road, much less uh, Revolver, Rubber Soul, Magical Mystery Tour, the White Album, etc. Like... Put some respect on the LPs. I'm not saying they're a novelty band. They do have several novelty songs. We are the champions. Novelty song. We will rock you. Novelty song. Songs to get pumped up to come in last in your middle school softball tournament too. The little thing you don't know is that the other team's listening to the same song. Okay, one sec. We win these. I got nothing against Queen. I have anything. I have something against you for pitting Queen against the Beatles. I never thought it could possibly happen. The Beatles in, in the modern day have somehow become actually a little bit underrated. It's the same thing where like online, if, if your entire socialization takes place in the internet, if you ever insult someone who's like 58 years old, and I'm like, hey, be nice to them. They're like, no, the boomers caused every problem in society these days, and they talk shit about us all the time. Then you actually like talk to the 58 year old, and they're like, nice day, isn't it? Working hard, hot enough for you? There's no price tag. Oh, this isn't scanning right? Mm, I guess it's free then. <laughs> they're just out there like, I'm not saying they didn't cause problems, okay? But on an individual level, they're mostly just living their lives. The same thing, people are like, everybody always talks about how good the Beatles are. Online, I only hear about how much they fucking suck from people that like listen to two songs. People are out here asking questions like, okay, pop quiz, hotshot, gun to your head, Def Leppard or the Beatles? Uh, the Beatles. Are you crazy over Def Leppard? What are you talking about? You've been poisoned. You lost your mind. 
Now, where were we? I mean, I'm, I'm already off the Benjamin on this one. Guy who doesn't know what off the Benjamin means. Pardon me. I know what it means. I know what it means, guys. I'm pretty cool. I'm hip. I'm with it. Wait, wait, we got a discard, bro! What are you doing? Because already there were, there were people in, in my Discord. My Discord? That were trying to tell me that the Beach Boys have one good song and it's Surfing USA. Completely ignoring the entirety of, of Pet Sounds. Broadly considered, you know, one of the best albums of all time. Then when you said they have one good song, I was thinking, where are they going to go with this one? Wouldn't it be nice? Good vibrations. God only knows. I wasn't made for these times. That's not me. Sloop John B. Some shit like that. They said, no, 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 no. Surfing USA. And if gun to my head, if you're going to make me choose another one, Kokomo. Kokomo? Come on, man. Shit makes me sick. It is where I want to go. I've never been. I wouldn't know. Are we cooked? I feel like I'm not scaling fast enough. Like I'm, I'm living just long enough to fucking die. Kokomo's, Kokomo is nice. It makes me feel happy when I hear it. Bob's Burgers viewer spotted. No disrespect. I've never really seen... I've seen a couple episodes. I got nothing against it, but it's just not... Me personally, it's not my tempo. One day I'm going to watch Bob's Burgers. There's going to be an episode where like somebody gets fucking their torso chopped in half or something. And I'm going to be like, oh, fuck. I didn't know. I thought it was mostly just like... The daughter being sad because she's a teenager and then the parents being like, you should be true to yourself. It's the only way to achieve true happiness. I thought it was just like 200 episodes of that. I didn't know. I didn't know that. It, I didn't know that Tuco Salamanca shows up in season three and starts to take over the burger enterprise in Fayetteville. I wish we got Green Joker earlier, but... It's good third monitor content. It is funny seeing all the discourse about like television networks trying to make second monitor or second screen content because everybody's watching shows looking at their phone these days. And I'm like, I think that that's a bad sign, but also that's kind of my business. So I, I guess I can't fully hate it and be genuine about it because pretty much all the time whenever people complain about my content, I'm like, you shouldn't be watching it as actively as you are. You should be doing something else at the same time when you got this shit up on the second monitor. I'm sorry, lads. We're cooked. We're cooked. Jupiters? No Jupiter even? If you got two streams open at the same time, though, especially if they're not, if one of them is not muted, you're cooked. I'm sorry to say. Oh, that might save us, bro. I'm not saying you're cooked beyond belief. I'm simply saying, like, it, you could probably recover, but you're temporarily compromised. Play it. Play it. Pretty good discard, all things considered. We know. Uh, just checking. Just checking. Should probably play clubs, but I got a one club down. Okay, we live with that. Lucky. <clears throat> Left ear chibli, right ear purges, dota patch commentary. This is the way. Which way, Western man? There are cathedrals everywhere for those with the eyes to see. He's just saying words. 
Nothing. All right. Your shop contains nothing. Huge, huge news. You're a nice lad. You're a nice lad, but you're not a club. But you are a nice lad. Maybe I could make you a club. Maybe I could make you both clubs. Okay. We don't even get anything. We, we got to skip this and pray for greatness. That's pretty nice. You're at least a club. And then you just got to make it through this one. We have to discard. The discarding must take place until morale improves. Five molts, huh? Five molt out of misprint. You hate to see it. 19 molts! <clears throat> I lived, bitch. Not by much. Not by much at all. Nickelback son or Reddit daughter? Oh, man. Can I tell you something, though? I did yesterday. It had been a while, so I, I thought I'm going to go in and check on my friends at the r slash antinatalist subreddit. And I think I, I learned something. I freed my... I think I freed myself from yet another yoke that I had been operating on. You know, we're all Plato's myth of the cave, right? We're all seeing shadows on the wall and then coming up with what those shadows are without actually seeing what's creating the light in the first place. I thought that... I don't mean to insult anybody's beliefs necessarily. This is just one man's opinion, okay? And it's full of rhetorical fallacies, which I know you guys go crazy for on r slash antinatalist. But anyway, I, I went to r slash antinatalist and I, I was seeing the sort by top this month. And it was like, you will never be... Uh, an environmentalist if you have one child. One, having one child cancels out like a hundred people going vegan, blah, blah, blah. And I started to like look through like the post history of the OPs that make this stuff and I realized it's LARPing. It's, it's debate club LARPing and most of them are between the ages of 12 and 25. Which is fine, there's nothing right, it's a representation of a slice of society. But p the people that get into the comments it's a little circle jerk about like, yeah, having kids is bad and also life is all suffering. So having a child is basically like doing a crime to them. And then they're like, but if a, if a natalist came at you with this argument, how would you steel man it so that you could still have the upper hand in the position, but rebuke it still? And then they get into like these discussions about um, like how to strengthen their arguments, which is good. You know, it's good to improve your rhetoric. But I was like... I took it a little bit more as it's an exercise in rhetoric and debate instead of like they actually 100, well maybe I'm putting words in their mouth, but I don't know if it's 100% that they, they died in the wool, believe in antinatalism, or if it's just a great opportunity for intellectual, intellectual gymnastics. Now child free. I can't speak for that because I don't go there because the people there are a little bit <laughs> more sane most of the time by a little bit. You know, you're just being generous. I'm a nice guy. I'm, I try to be charitable these days. Sometimes at least. Hang on, I gotta figure out how we're gonna get out of this. I think you're too unreliable. Then we try this, and it's a moon ball. It's like possibly good enough, but I gotta hedge my bets. I think we need the chips. Not gonna lie, I was an antinatalist as a teenager. First off, no hate. Secondly, I'm so glad that I was in high school in like 2002 to 2006. Thirdly, I think if anything, the, the thing I circle back to is the same thing with my own subreddit. I have to acknowledge that 
the subreddit is not for me. It's for antinatalists to talk to other antinatalists. I just show up sometimes and get a little, I take like a peek and I see how it's going. But they should have a space where they can discuss the, you know, tenets of the movement, even if I find it a little unusual. And what, you know, what do, what do I expect is going to happen? Like, I'm going to go in there and see something that's going to, like, change my mind? The, the subreddit is for the Redditors. That's what it's there for. Ah, shit. <laughs> we lived. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. So true. Say what you will about the tenets of antinatalism, Donnie, but at least it's an ethos. Hmm... Anti seven. Eight be like Fool Judgment. Hermit six dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna hermit the six dollars and use the proceeds to buy a jumbo buffoon pack to get a joker that can save my life. Just kidding, it doesn't exist. We go next. Upgrades two pair, okay. Wouldn't that be six? Listen, brother, I'm pretty sure that eight would be anti seven too, considering seven ate that motherfucker. Six is just scared. Eight is the one who took all the risk and ended up getting chomped in the process. And all you want to talk about is six, man. They weren't joking. The one in front of the gun really does live forever. No straight on this is, is insane. It's madness. Whatever, just toss it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Whoops. Turns out, uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm hearing reports that actually seven, eight, nine, eight was eight was the verb, not the object. Brother, I need all the help I can get. Oasis Sun or Queen Sun? See, now we're talking. Queen Sun, for sure. There are worse suns than Oasis Sun, but Queen is not one of them. We can't fight a two-front war against anti-natalism and r slash teachers at the same time we've made our peace with r slash teachers and with r slash anti-natalism i circled back at the end and said you know to render that to, to caesar with that which is caesar's okay what am i doing as a 35 year old man with a kid going to r slash anti-natalism and then going like what are they talking about over here like it's just you're asking for trouble Jojo Siwa son or Hetsune Miku wife? I gotta go with Hetsune Miku wife on that one because I'll just be honest with you, I don't know anything really about Jojo Siwa um, except she used to be on the Disney Channel, maybe? She's young. In my head, she's like 18, which means she's probably 23. She was on Dance Moms. Is that the one where the ladies got into a fight backstage and they started like punching each other and pulling each other's hair? And then the uh, one lady called the police and said, yeah, she's got like a really trendy haircut. And then it was like the Karen like angled bangs. That is the one. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate the, the tell on that one. It is that one. <laughs> Straight son or flush daughter? I'm not answering that question. That's, that's a problematic question. I hope both of my kids flush. The son and the daughter. And the Holy Ghost. 
You I'm going to club you, club you. Amen. Club me, so true, and that's what I'm saying, bro. <clears throat> me talking to the other cavemen. <clears throat> he says he emits a series of grunts. Remember your your hunting and gathering skills are valid. And I'm like brother. I was talking about cards here, and now you're you're hitting me with the self care conversation. Oh, I, okay, I understand what I did wrong. Time to understand what I'm about to do right. Three, three, three. <laughs> this shit's too damn big, bro. I'm dead. This is bad. Oh, what if I draw five awesome clubs? Okay, there's one way out, lads. <laughs> Man, fuck this deck. Okay, first off, slash marker, we'll call that Balatro 1. Give me this shit right here. Purple steak. Give me purple steak. Shop has a rare joker. You think you would have been friends with a Neanderthal back in the day? Um, I think I probably like would have been a Neanderthal back in the day. Because wasn't like the thing with Neanderthals is that they were like 10% smarter than human beings, but like had decroded survival skills and as a result got beaten to death to extinction. Something like that. They were also mega hairy. Wouldn't it be crazy if I did like, like an Ancestry.com thing and it came back and was like, you're actually like the last living Neanderthal. Like, it was just like, 92% England, 8% fucking, I don't even know, the cradle of humanity, 8% Neanderthal. I'd be like, come on, Ancestry.com, how could you even possibly know that? But go on. I'm not going to discard, I want chips, bro. 80 chips, that's a big deal in this house. Eight percent would be insanely high. Yeah, I know that would be like a, a Neanderthal, like great grandparent or something, right? I am very smart. Me, guy who just learned how to do Punnett squares. Why don't, why don't we? Why don't we throw two pair on this? It's not even that bad, man. He's Mendel posting. Probably, I gotta say, one of my favorite geneticists. I mean, Charles Darwin, Chucky e. D, he's up there somewhere as well. I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do with Hex, bro. None discards, left beef. <clears throat> Who's your least favorite geneticist? Um, it would have to be Lamarck. Dude was fucking cooked. Dude was like, if my dad's a carpenter, then when I'm born, I already have carpentry skills. What the fuck are you talking about, Lamarck? Shit doesn't make sense at all. You telling me my dad's cum has some like fucking Bob Vila essence in it? 
Doesn't make any damn sense. Let him cook. He fucking died 300 years ago. Everyone relax, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we take Mystic Summit. So what we never pop Hex. What about Watson and Crick? Yeah, we don't stand Watson and Crick anymore for erasing uh, Rosalind Franklin's results, but she had the last laugh, I guess. I guess they're all dead, so, like, nobody's laughing, but... What am I doing? What am I doing? I discarded! Those are my chips, bro! Let God sort it out. Honestly, I'm just not feeling this run. <laughs> I think this one's just toast, man. Yeah, now we're talking. That, that one was just... I, I constructed it badly. That one just didn't feel right, okay? The vibes were off. Do you have any active beliefs that cause cognitive dissonance within yourself? Listen, of course. But like, I ain't got time for that shit, man. <laughs> I got shit to do. 20 multi it contains four of a couple. But then if I ever pop X, it's gonna destroy this motherfucker, dude. Oh, what was I thinking? You're right. Hold R. Hmm. I know what I, I know what I need to do. I'm a believer, by the way, that like you you can't use this in every situation. Okay, that would that would lead to too many false positives. But I believe people should trust their vibes just a little bit more, as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and say you're not crazy. Because some people are like, ooh, Eclipse today, the vibes are bad. And I'm like, it's not about you, brother. Like, this fucker is... They measure their plans in centuries, right? Like, sometimes you just get a bad vibe. You know, you're, you're a trivia night at the grad club. One of your friends texts you, hey, is it cool if I bring my boyfriend? You're like, yeah, no problem. We're very sociable people. She shows up uh, with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's 31. Everybody else is 22. You're like, the vibes are off, man. What's going on? You got, like, a fucking career. And what are you doing here? It's Thursday night, motherfucker. What are you doing here? You're making jokes about, like, fucking TV shows from the 1980s we're not familiar with? The vibes are just a little bit off. Give me the face cards, man. Oh, baby. Where be your nutcracker? So true. <clears throat> Clark Hall pensioners rise up. Can always count on on Kilburn. Remind me of my scholastic career. Fifty-seven-year-old engineering graduate at Ritual on a Friday in like February. You're like this shit ain't even homecoming or nothing. It's just it's like February tenth. Your ass is out here slamming your jacket. You got two kids, man. Do they know where their father is? Ten Jack Queen King. Do it. Ten Jack Queen King Ace. <laughs> I'm not playing the aura yet because I want to put it on a uh, on a cool king. That was fucking ass, bro. Why was that so? Uh, it wasn't that bad. Three, four, five, six, the old fashioned way. Two, three, four, five, six. Hello, all you cool kings and kittens. Interesting thing about me is I'm a different kind of beast. We make these. I was just going to say chips might be the way on this one. I think these are... Oh, listen. We can't afford Baron. And then 
because we'd have to sell hex to get it. So we take this and we put hex, and that's a great consolation prize. Rough shop. Are you fucking crazy, cool Nathan? This is the greatest shop you'll ever see. This is incredible. We're balling now. All we got to do is get some damn queens in our hand. Let's be real, you wouldn't take Baron anyway. I've been taking Baron nonstop, motherfucker. People are out here throwing, they're ignorant. They're like, let's be real, Denny Villeneuve. You would never put the blue fetus on the screen. You gotta go see the fucking picture, man. She's out there and she's loving every minute of it. Jerry, she's loving every minute of it. Fuck it, we ball. We ball. Yeah, yeah, I'll throw my whole run away for $4 from Glade, Glade Dratification. <laughs> it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Oh, that you fucking shouldn't have. Finally. She's reining it in. Fetus wasn't blue. Why don't you go back to the movies and uh, put your phone down this time. Pay attention. Huge! The world is ours. For the future. For the future. For the future. By the way, I have to say, I've been loving... I, I, I haven't seen the Conan O'Brien hot ones. It's possible I never will. It's just the way, way of the world for me. Um, it's a great skip, though. But I'm loving the, the living tribute... Sorry, brother. To Conan O'Brien that's happening on the internet. Because he is one of the... Funniest motherfuckers that has been alive since I've been alive, without a doubt. The dude has been killing it consistently in every domain for like almost 40 years. Best late night show. Best like uh, remotes, like, like skits on the late night show. Wrote some of the funniest episodes of The Simpsons. Like the dude is just, uh, he's nonstop. James Corden clears. It's a close, it's close, okay? I can't dispute that. I'm sorry to delayed gratification. It's got to be done. It's the way of the world. Whoops. <laughs> Corden clears easy. All I'm going to say is Conan wishes he could do carpool karaoke with Gal Gadot, okay? Don't fucking kill me. I've been through the ringer, bro. Might as well just play this shit right here. Dune soundtrack, be like... Spend all your money, use Wraith. <laughs> Spend some of your money. <laughs> That's... Man drops worst play of all time, asked to leave. What was that, man? Use credit cards. Oh, so true, use credit card. You geniuses, you princes of Maine, you fucking kings of New England, bro. Dump it. I guess in principle, I might as well see where this leads us. There's something to that. Sorry, delayed gratification. It puts it, well, I mean, whatever. It's not called fucking finances. It's called enjoy the game. Campfire 
insanely good. Insanely good. Queen's in the hand. Reason again to let him know he's the man. It's beautiful. <laughs> you could have gone to negative 20 and then back up to zero. You could have spent $15 on rerolls, not been able to afford anything else, and then go back to the same amount of money you had at the end of it anyway. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? I'm not going to put the bank out of business for sport. Like, we got to have... It's, it's got to have some meat on my end. Otherwise, no fucking deal. I want to draw more kings. I don't really... I don't even know what hand we're playing. Are we playing high cards? We're going to try to play four of a kind. Cut queens from your deck. POV. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna finish the sentence. I'm. I'm not gonna finish the sentence. Okay. You can fill in the fucking blanks. For now. Say it. I was gonna say something along the lines of POV. You're not very good at Balatro, or anything else. <laughs> but that's probably not true. I bet you're fucking sick at Lego or something. There's got to be something. I'm ass at Lego. I'm saying this aspirationally. I'm fucking trash at Lego. I'll, I'll say it. I'm not afraid who knows it, bro. What do you mean? I always just build like a box. I'm like, oh, what, what am I going to build with Lego this time? Uh, anything but a house. Look down at the fucking sheet 10 seconds later. I made a fucking house. You mean sandbox mode? Yeah, not Lego Star Wars. I'm sure I'd be ripping it up with Qui-Gon Jinn or whatever, but... Yes. Oh, a king would be good, too. Where do your intellect and long-term memories come from? Assuming your answer will not be your brain, since it has been proven there is no possible way the biological hardware can store that information, and it isn't even clear how thoughts and memories are constructed, where does that information come from? Or have you stopped trying to find out? Me trying not to create a nemesis for the rest of my life? Folks, this is why me personally, I'll never touch psychedelics. I'm just not ready to go through that looking glass, okay? Because I'd... I think there's a chance that I could come back, but... I don't know if anybody's pulling the tether if I start tugging on it, okay? I have made an enemy for life, I'm sure. I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't... That's, I, I'm not capable of answering the question, okay? My brother in Christ, keep spreading the word as you understand it. You ain't got to worry about that. I'm one step ahead. Well, I'm, I'm on the same page as you on that one. I won't say one step ahead. I'm on the same page as you on that one. Chariot Queen. <clears throat> Long-term memory is actually stored in your hippocampus, though. I think that the jury's a little out on it. You'll find if you actually look into the research. Now that's my card. Steal to the right, please. Mmm, very sensible. That is very sensible. You're not wrong. Steal to the right. I'm a neuroscientist. Oh yeah? What am I thinking about? <laughs> Sorry. The lung butter, I swear, is almost gone. It only comes out when I make a good joke now. Yeah! We're never gonna use it. Stop saying lung butter. Fuck you, bro. It's my butter. I'll call it what I want.
you taking too many dabs? I'm gonna be real with you. I know it's it's gonna sound like I'm putting on airs. I don't know what a dab is. Ah! I don't know what it is. It's the concentrate. I don't know what that means. Can you just move to the right, bro? It's hot weed. What does that mean? Hot weed. Minus four dollars. Fuck you, man. I gotta, I gotta get campfire popping. You need a blowtorch for it? Or a rig? Really? So when people say, like, I've been doing dabs all day, they're in the fucking lab. They're not sitting on their couch. They're, like, in a, in a garage or, like, a workshop somewhere going, like... <sighs> it's going, you know, like, Erlenmeyer flash, drip, 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 and then the vapor's coming up through, like, a condenser and go... Blip, blip, blip. Also, you can watch some fucking Bob's Burgers. That's crazy, man. It does require devices. I don't know about all that. You know what? Give me the times 1.5 for now. Now would be a great time to get our economics going. If we're being straight up with one another, I should probably sell Burnt Joker. It's a great joker. I am not paying attention to it in the slightest. It, it has no reason to be here. Doesn't have, There's no purpose to it. You know, I was freaking out. I found out in the beta patch, hanging Chad is actually, like, buffed. Like, I thought it was one of the best commons in the game. And then, like, they actually made it twice as good. What the hell? Hanging Giga Chad. I've taken 10 dabs so far during your stream. It's Monday. It's Monday at 10.50 a.m., man. Let me guess. Some people, not everybody lives in the West Coast. How about you? Well, yeah, I'm in Portland. But not, you got a lot of European viewers, too, okay? So just chill with that kind of stuff. The world's a big place. It is tax day. That is, well, in the U.S. at least. Hmm. In Canada, it's April 30th. Hmm. <laughs> me, me on April 15th? I got tons of time. Me on April 29th at 11.50? What the fuck, man? No, what the fuck? The Americans were done two weeks ago. I'm still doing this shit. I'm not taking it. We, we don't need a year. We don't need a year. We're just chilling. RG, RG, DG. Welcome. I haven't said it yet, uh, Dan, but I was thinking it because I, I hopped off the Peloton this morning. Had a little bit of time with which to watch my good friend Dan Giesling play Balatro. This is a compliment. Don't take it as an insult, okay? You, when I watch you play Balatro, you do like every... The, every decision you make is almost the exact opposite of every decision that I make. And every time I come into your stream, you're on like anti-13. So I'm like, A, Balatro is an amazing game because it allows a diverse array of strategies to all function well. And B, this guy's fucking cooking. He's cooking me up a little bit. And I'm for it. Who says no? Uh, I'm going to open it right now. We'll save Hermit for later. I would always embrace this. I would certainly embrace this. Or do. Discard me. This is the best hand of all time. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, how much power could one Jack have? 33 
thousand power, allegedly. Dan's chat has more good backseaters. I mean, it makes sense because uh, he has the tags backseating and backseaters welcome. Whereas I have bald Peloton Costco. <laughs> Sell the Queen Joker. There's not even any gambling. Why are you out here trying to get me to like lose my run? You're just, you're just being a troll. Is what that is. That's just Troll City, bro. I do want to duplicate a queen, but I want to duplicate like a, like a good queen. Like a killer queen. I don't know the words, but it always, it, someone always does it at karaoke. You know it. Something some with a laser beam. Something some, she's a killer queen. Remember that? I'm that guy. I don't hate you for it. I, I consider, sure, consider Killer Queen kind of a, uh, a karaoke classic. It's just one of those songs you sort of expect to be played if you're there. My go-to for karaoke is the Smiths. Am I a vibe terrorist? No, but you live in England or uh, Brooklyn. Which is fine. If anything, I guess I'd just say I'm a little jealous. Let's go next. I was ripping some Alan Jackson last night. Better than doing 10 dabs on Twitch. I mean, I'll tell you that for free. It's crazy that, like, Alan Jackson songs are real. Dude really made a career out of uh, saying, Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee, it gets hotter than a hoochie coochie. Like, what, what is he saying, man? I mean, I think I know what he's saying. Does he know what he's saying? Down on the river on a Friday night, a pyramid of canes in the pale moonlight. Talking about cars and dreaming about women. Never learn another, just a living for the minutes. <laughs> Someone, someone stunlocked me by putting the Big Bomba clad in chat. We're fucking way down yonder on the chat. A lot about living and a little about love. It was back when mustaches meant something, man. Nowadays, all it means is that you fucking, I don't know, <laughs> have male pattern baldness. I get it. Of course I know him. He's me. You know what? <sighs> sure. Welcome to the party, pal. You got to work with me on this one? Paul Simon voice. Polychrome. I got an abstract joker. I love to make my hands real big. Please don't take my polychrome away. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't like it. Okay, that's fine. Neither are your kids, honestly. Neither are your kids. Your kids are going to hate it. Kids these days, they don't know Kodachrome. They don't know it. Fifty ways to leave your lover. So true. One, don't pick up the phone. He only dows you up when he's drunk and alone. I like Dua Lipa. You know why? Y'all, what hand did I play? Two pair, right? You gotta, you gotta do it. Easy. It's better to be lucky than good. Never punished? Listen, I'm punished all the time. 
It happens like regularly. That time it didn't. That's not never though. You need to go to back to calculus class, bro. You're looking at the integral instead of the area under the curve. I mean, you're looking at the derivative instead of the area under the curve or whatever. Hmm, queen me. And to be honest with you, I think we need honestly we need this because I think we need two big cells in order to get you popping, and then hopefully keep the econ pumping. And then sell me. Jackson to Queens. We're not we're not going back down that road again. Twenty-six thousand points. Here's the deal, brother. I would I'm gonna strength you anyway. Even and I'm only gonna use it on one. I'm not getting anything out of turning a six into a seven. But I'm still gonna play you because you're chipped up to the freaking gills, bro. Oh now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hmm, deja vu on a red seal steel dipped in a tortilla chip. I think you could drive. You know what the problem? People hate the Mama Liz bit right now. But if I honey dicked you a little bit, you'd be begging for it. If I was like a tortilla chip dipped in Mrs. Renfro's medium salsa. If I did that shit for like 45 minutes, you would be begging for the voice. <laughs> a baby carrot dipped into hummus. Unleavened bread dipped into grocery store bought baba ganoush. Say it. Mmm, a lavash wheat cracker dipped in sparrow tzatziki sauce. Everyone's like, yeah! Yes! He's right. It's all about timing, bro. I refuse to get played like that. Not everybody's gonna be ready to pop after, what, that was like four seconds? Some of you are going to be a little bit of a tougher nut than that, but everybody's going to go. Steal to the right, brother. Ah, whatever. Big whoop. Big whoop is what I say. Hmm, a nine. Me when someone posts Helen and Troy on r slash rate me. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Yeah, I said the word wrong. Mm, not interested, honestly. I'm just gonna say it, and if somebody gets offended by it, don't. That's that's comedy these days. Helen of Troy was probably like a little busted, right? I mean, it was like, when when did the Trojan War even take place? It was like the year 41 or something like that. I'm not trying to be like an extreme hater. But I think, you know, with nutrition and sanitation and stuff like that these days. If we saw, I, honestly, Helen of Troy, if she lived these days, I, and this is a sad thing for society, I personally think she'd probably have like 5,000 Instagram followers. It's fiction, dude? No, you can, you can visit Troy and tell me it's fiction. I wanna see your face when you look at the people that fought in that war and you look them in the eyes and tell them that shit didn't happen. When you tell them, oh, I don't believe that Achilles got fucking struck in his heel by an arrow. And you see their hearts break. Yeah, okay. What a bold take. People just say anything these days, man. Troy is real, bro. That's what I'm saying. 
the Patroclus that you was hanging with? People got no respect for King Midas either. It's too easy to just remix the Dave Chappelle bit. King Midas was my friend. He fucking died. Brother accidentally touched his tongue and choked on it. You know what that's like to choke on gold? Let's just send this one down Main Street. The angry video game nerd if he was a proctologist. Your fucking ass! It's shitting diarrhea like a bull with a cockadoody! Who made this? That's a good joke? Okay, sure. Now that I know where your sense and sensibilities lie. Why is he Jerry? Because the influences of Seinfeld are, are myriad. Pretty much every joke told from like 1993 until the present day has some latent Seinfeld DNA somewhere inside of it. What do I even play in this? I, sometimes I play two pair. Don't go there, chat. Me advising a chatter who said they're honeymooning in Pyongyang. We should not be playing pairs, bro. We should be playing this right here. There should be local thunk, no disrespect, this is just quality of life. There should be like either a button or a, a, an automatic setting that sorts steel cards as far right as possible. I'm sure there's like some kind of like fake real constraint for why that can't be done, but... Why? Because it's annoying to have to drag them back over. It's quality of life. I do need chips. I'm I'm fucking chipless, bro. Let's open this real quick. I don't know. I'm not that impressed, I guess. Abstract Joker can go. Yeah. You know what? Thanks. That's that's why I keep you around. I don't think this has Endless written all over it, which is kind of embarrassing, because it, it easily could, but... What do you want? One random Joker disabled every hand. That's um, the one you can't disable. That one, you're going to have to enable that one for me. Because that's the best one. Honestly, that might help us more. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some straight dookie at you to get you to go with another Joker. Could I possibly persuade you there? You, I don't really care about you at all. Now you go here, you go here, you go here, and I like you could chip this dude up, but you could also just play Mr. Glass. Why is campfire in the middle? Explain it to them. Fourth grade math teachers, can you explain it to them? Brother is like, he, he sees uh, exponents in the order of operations and he's like, what the hell? Why are exponents going forth? Because there's four brackets, buddy! You gotta, you gotta do this P-E-D-M-A-S, parentheticals, fucking, you know, we're not gonna get into it, but. <clears throat> Slash marker. Call that Balatro 2. Okay, we're so back. Now's the time. J 
jokerless behavior. Today is the damn day. I guarantee it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Me at the counting B as a as a kid in the third grade, I'm at the national championships. Um racking my brain. Oh fuck, I studied this one. I know I studied this one. Um 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 Oh five six seven eight nine the it, that is the dude that is correct. The audience erupts Woo! Good bit. Counting B is a funny bit. Yeah, what if I told you it's not a bit? What if I told you that's where the world's headed? Not so funny now, is it? The Red Queen. We go on Alice in Wonderland in this bitch. You know what? While we're here, I mean, it looks a lot like our last run, but we gotta we gotta commit to something. My coworker would probably believe you. <laughs> no comments. No no comment, but a, a a sigh and a nod in solidarity. What the hell is this, bro? Why am I holding a temperance card? We're gonna get there. Two pair is at three. Okay, we take those. Now that I think about a full house is at fucking five. So just kill my ass, okay? I'm pretty stupid. Sure, sure, sure. Why'd you sell a temperance? Now that one, I can answer that one. I sold a temperance because it was never gonna be worth more than a dollar. Now, you could construct an elaborate situation where you pay about $100 and then it's worth $3. But it's a long trip, man. Save a spot for me when you get there. <clears throat> it does prevent future temperances, though. It's like, you know, hey, one way to like never take poison in your life is just to poison yourself. Then you're dead, so you can't take any... More poison. Is that what you're saying to me? That's, ba that's what it sounds like to me, is what you're saying. Did you watch the Bluey finale? Did not watch the Bluey finale? Is it is season finale or series finale? If it's a series finale, huge fuck up. They haven't even hit critical mass yet, bro. They could be selling... Banded and chili plushies for the next 15 years. Okay, let me take a peek here. Straight three of a kind, full house. Great. Full house. I was friends with Bluey. She fucking died. <laughs> oh, man. Hillary's in the twisted weird sick stuff, man. That's what it's reminding me of. The, the Bon Iver, Alex Jones cover. That woman number one is ugly. Imagine how bad she smells, man. Like it's just... Oh. Nightmare blunt rotation. Yeah, yeah, he's on there. Alex Jones, the uh, tech CEO vampire who's trying to make himself younger. Not Elon Musk, but somebody who's like really into Elon Musk. Elon Musk is pretty close, don't get me wrong. But like, I think like a, an Elon Musk, like sycophant would probably be like even worse. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking about life. What it, so with Telescope, we want to play, it would be nice to play Full Houses. Phil Housley's. These are some great cards, bro. Some good cards.
Mars. Hmm, what do I like to play? I, for now, how about six, seven, eight, nine? So close. How about seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack? We're trying to make telescope work. We just don't know how yet. This 97-year-old poker player still plays telescope the old-fashioned way. Real full house potential, please. I'm not. I'm dancing with the one that brought me sixes and threes. Did we beat Jokerless? My current Joker setup is uh, zero of zero Jokers. I'm just. You know what? I'm turning the turns the stream off. Becomes addicted to internet gambling. Um, holds up Spork. Okay, hang on. What, what about a what about a full house? I see we got three, four, five, six. Don't get me wrong. You know what? In that case, may, maybe it's a straight build. And I, every time I say that, Shohei Otani voice, you should bet the under. Okay, he's been vindicated. All right. Sorry. How about a full house? A full house. Don't win too fast now. Another full house. Venus? No, no, no. These are important. This may be, I'm spending all my money. This is the one. Get it twisted. It's guaranteed. Sorry. I don't even want the steal. Ugh. You guys see Bobin deliberately missed the free throw, so everybody at the Crypto.com Arena got free chicken? What a guy. He went Leroy Jenkins mode. Sources are saying it's the first time someone's got gone Leroy Jenkins mode since 2004. Hello, Jay, by the way. Hello. Hmm. Tenjak Queen. A delightful assortment of cards, if you're asking me. Did you see a dude complaining that it fucked up the spread? Yeah. It's all right. Chronic sports gamblers aren't going to make heaven. I think they know that. And that's okay. Like, I'm not saying they deserve it. I'm just saying it's just the way of the world. I think I need the Arcana packs, man. The Joker store called. They're all out of you. That's true. I got to make a call real quick. Uh, let's, just, let's just keep these pairs pumping. Free shop might might come in. I don't know if we have enough to get five thousand points, but could use the support. I'm keeping my jack. I'm dumping my threes. Don't fuck with me. No, oh, I forgot. I'm discarding some of my best cards. Okay, that's fine. Just have the best draw of all time. It's the best draw of all time. Hold the jack, please. Don't. Oh, that's my guy. That was my guy right there. It has been leveled. Oh, brother. <laughs> hmm. Jokerless, Jokerless. Jokerless is not easy, people. It's not easy. This one's a chore. It is a chore, and that's why we do it. After the stream today, I got to go buy a full-size ladder so we can clean out our eaves troughs. I'm very familiar with chore maxing. You shouldn't clean your eaves troughs. You should... Sorry, I'm just doing my impression of you. You should let your fucking... There's no NL 
oh, there's microfauna in the eaves troughs that thrive in that brackish environment. Oh. Me taking a blowtorch to my lawn. Check out this dab rig. <sighs> What have you done? Fauna mentions. And that's on fleek. Hmm, what should we do? We can make myriad lucky cards. What do I care? I don't think I want lucky cards. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Bro said that's on fleek. And? You can't stop me. I just took a shit in the mother toilet. Lana Del Rey at Coachella. Did you really think I would tell you my plan if I hadn't already done it? I took a shit in the mother toilet 15 minutes ago. Rorschach be like, <gasps> Step on me! Do it! Okay, I have no choice, and I must scream. Luck my shit up. I wanna see 60 bucks. 20 mult, I'm not gonna cry about it, but. Hmm, an emperor card dipped in. Mama Jessica's sign. <laughs> Yes, I don't mind if I... Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Whoops. Thought that was going to be the Emperor. It makes perfect sense. My mistake. Me walking into the yoga class, be like, my mistake, my mistake. It's a little joke about namaste for you. I'm not sure if you're ready for that one. I'm not gonna die. Plus two, plus two. Appreciate that. I, I tell a lot of yoga jokes here. Consider myself one of the foremost yoga-based comedians on this uh, on this website. Tits or ass is the millennial question. It's feet or armpits now. Is that true? Can anybody here in Generation Z tell me if that's true? No. I wouldn't know. No, not true, not true. It's weird, because like I feel like there's a natural order to horniness, which is kind of like, obviously, you know, when you're a teenager, young adult, your hormones are going crazy. But I had always thought of it like the older you get, the hornier you get in like a decroded and gross way. It was always like old men who were like, oh, look at her fucking ankle and shit like that. And the young guys are always like big boobies and jugs and look at her bum. So I'm not used to this inversion. Like if, if a 22 year old was starting to get perverted about like someone's like finger knuckles or something like that, I'd be like, brother, you're an old soul. And not in the way that most people say, which is like, you don't get along with kids your own age. You go to the kid's birthday party and hang out at the table with all the moms. I think we make it. I think you got to take big swings. Keep it. We need those lucky jacks, bro. That's what I'm saying. Dump it. I fucking threw dog. <laughs> Hmm, full house still in the cards. Nope, there's no kings left. Well, there's jacks, bro. And if you could play two pair with some fucking chips and a 20 molt, who knows? Who knows what could happen? All righty then, we'll go again. <clears throat> 
say something that's relatable for my seven month old. I think it's kind of crazy. Like people think it's so easy to be a baby, but actually it's gotta be like a little horrifying when you come at it from the perspective of an adult. Cause like you need something, you can't get it for yourself, but then like you can't express yourself with any nuance at all. Like you can't be like, you know, I crap myself. All you, all you got is wah, wah, and then you're like already full and your tummy feels bad and they're like, oh, you must be hungry. And you're like, no, bro. I got shit in my pants. And then they like feed you and you eat a little bit and then they're like, oh, I guess he just wants to cry. <laughs> just let him cry it out. It's hard to be a baby, man. My two-year-old's cracking up right now. <laughs> My daughter did say this weekend, she said, it's hard to be three. And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, my head flips a lot. And I said, what do you mean your head flips? And then she said, it says, wear these shoes. Then it says, wear these shoes. Then it says, wear these shoes. And I'm like, I get it. Because I'm trying to get out the damn door to get to, you know, fucking calligraphy class or whatever. And I'm like, what shoes do you want? And she's like, winter boots. And I'm like, you can't wear winter boots to gymnastics. Like, they're, they're going to think that I'm a derelict dad or something like that. It's like having DoorDash deliver your daughter's lunch to school or something like that. They're like, this person is not a good parent. Okay, we take this and we pray. I think it's hard to be three. In a matter of speaking, at least. Hmm, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. Don't mind if I do. It's hard to be any age. It's honestly, no disrespect, it's like not that hard to be 28. Obviously, I'm talking about like from my own perspective. It's not really that hard to be 35 either. Like sometimes I have like more responsibility than I would like to have on any given day, but that's about it. Thank God I'm 27. I'm 28, I'm on autopilot right now. I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm saying. 35 with no kids is easy street. I believe that. But like, sure, you get back like six extra hours of possible free time every day, but then you gotta spend at least four of it uh, advocating for like a pub to be dog friendly, but child free. So like, it really basically comes out in the wash. I'm just saying we're not so different. Four hours of getting into Twitter arguments with 14-year-old kids from the Philippines about social issues in Britain. I mean, we're all getting crushed by the same yoke is what I'm trying to say. I don't have anything in my deck. I have lots of spades. Spades are what I have in my deck right now. Okay, how about many fives? Many fives. Act like you've been there before. Full house a little easier to make until you go Martian mode like Matt Damon. House me. They have housed me. Take some of this. Pop this. Ignore that. Turn them into bonus Andrews. We're off to the races, man. I'm gonna full house the shit out of this. Matt Damon in the Bob Saget biopic coming out next year, directed by Boz Lerman. I'm spending, bro. This, we're, I'm, I'm all in right now. It's a good card. When you make a joke about movies and Freddy Babe hits you with the plus two, ooh. It is delightful. 
It is delightful. This makes it, this clears it easy, bro. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, don't, don't get me wrong. I saw the discourse about the, the child-free pub. I'm just, I'm not a deep state guy. I don't think the elites have to throw us like one piece of food and get us to fight each other. I think it's a problem with the human condition that we just choose to fight each other. The dude just took a picture with the sign. I, I find like anti-child energy a little cringe. But he wasn't doing that. He was just expressing himself. And then it created like a an enormous ripple where people were like, I saw people having discussions like, oh, is it so wrong that like one space in the entire country doesn't have kids in it? You know, but if you make it child free, then moms do most of the parenting so moms won't ever be able to go anywhere social like it's just they're they're driving each other crazy man you're on the same team but i will say there were people that are like kids shouldn't be in an establishment that serves alcohol anyway you are gonna fuck this up for everybody shut the fuck up you 11th grader not Bradlington. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. If you can't take your toddler into a pub, have fish and chips and a pint of Guinness, because like, oh, eight hours from now, some dude is going to throw up on the bar, then, then society has fallen. That's all I'm going to say, okay? It is weird. You can take your kid into the liquor store, at least in Canada, when they're young. Like nobody looks at you like you're a degenerate if you and your two-year-old go into the liquor store. Because you're like, obviously they're not feeding fucking fireball to their two-year-old. But it, there must be an age where like that's not okay anymore, right? Like, if my daughter is 17, and I'm like, hey, I've just got to run in real quick, and she comes in with me, aren't they going to be like, I can't sell you this, because, like, she's underage? I'll be like, you sold it to me when she was 23 months old. It's a rhetorical fallacy, is what I'm trying to say, cashier at the liquor store. It's a rhetorical fallacy. I did see the post as well, where the lady was mad that someone took their baby into the dispensary and she was also mad that somebody left their baby in the stroller outside of the dispensary and I was like I don't really know what's going on in there but I'm pretty sure it, I think it's illegal but it probably should be legal to take your baby into the dispensary because they're not like gonna blow smoke in the baby's face right like they're just selling you cannabis in a package isn't it just like an apple store but for getting high Yes, you've pretty much got it. Okay. <laughs> I think you should be able to take your five-year-old into a dispensary then, but it was well, legal, but it's like, hey, relax. If it's legal, make it legal, man. Yeah, kids can go to the LCBO. You can bring your dog in, but you can't take your kid in. See, I'm just trying to start a fight now. Okay, okay. Anything to distract me from Jokerless, okay? Wow, 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 wow. I need more fives. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose that game. Yeah, it will be done. Unless. Strength my ass. Hmm, delightful. Boys, it's so makeable. We had to sacrifice a little bit to get it done. Oh, fuck. Never mind. Never mind all that stuff I said about it being doable. Hmm, okay, we go again. That's fine.
What's the best Joker list score so far? Mods? Yeah, what? Just just mods. Do I have to do everything? Come up with a creative punishment. I already came up with a good one last week. I said, uh, "Hey, mods, show him a picture of what his parents are going to look like when he when they when they get old." It was better off the cuff. I over rehearsed it a little bit. Mods, pick up his unsealed tarmogoyf with dirty fingers. Mods, play against him in Magic at Friday Night Magic and roll a 20 on a spin down for initiative. I'm the kind of guy who would just say, fuck it, man. I don't really like how this first shop looks, quite frankly. <laughs> Tarmogoyf's only $5 now. Imagine the Gathering players when Tarmogoyf gets reprinted. Yeah, it's only $5 now. It's basically worthless. Imagine the Gathering players when they're paired against a five-year-old in round four of Friday Night Magic, and if they win, they get one pack. It's time to lock the fuck in. This is serious. This is what we play for. Choose two, okay? <laughs> Do you still go to Friday Night Magic? Mods? <laughs> Sorry. I just didn't want to answer it. So make them learn a life lesson? I understand. And the life lesson is don't go to Friday Night Magic. Um, if you were a suit, what would you be? Great question. I think I would be clubs. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I don't give off, like, hearts energy. Um, I don't really think I give off diamonds energy. I guess what my answer is, I guess I give off clubs energy, but I don't even know what that means. I guess because clubs is kind of like the underrated black suit. If I, was, if I said name a black suit in a deck of cards... Survey says spades. That shit's going to be like 71. Clubs is getting 29. I've always fancied myself a bit of an underdog. Same thing. I mean, if I was to say name a red suit in a deck of cards. Survey says hearts. I think it's getting 76. And then I think diamonds is getting 24. But I just don't want to give diamond energy, quite frankly. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Wow. I guess I would be stupid if I didn't, like, fish for the greatest hand of all time, right? Like, I'd have to, I'd have to be dumb not to, like, take a peek. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Anti-2 with nothing going for me right now. Besides the positive and the negative, what is reality? It's a great question. It's an interesting one. I've been thinking about it myself lately. Um, wait, 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 before we answer that, let's answer your question with another question. How swag would it be to make my deck 100% hearts? I'm thinking the answer is like pretty swag and maybe we got like a potential straight flush build. You gotta play this first, though. Oh, you can play Flesh Houses! In the future. In the future. It's not Swag Monday, though? Oh, that's true. It's Al Pacino Serpico voice when asked what his goatee is. Balladro! Balladro! Monday. Right? That's what we're, that's what we're cooking up here? It's all a spectacle to you.
That's dog day afternoon, though? Oh, yeah. Me when I... Didn't mean to make a mistake, but I made a mistake. I know. That was on purpose. That one was a product of the writer's room. I think we're gonna dump. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a man after motherfucking midnight, bro. I told you it was Swag City. Especially with a level two straight flush, we're going to the moon. <clears throat> hey, Anel, I was watching a Jackbox video. Which of your friends said to let clover grow on your lawn? I want to go give them money. Oh, that friends? That was uh, Donald J. Trump. You're going to go give Donald J. Trump some money? Really? A little problematic when you could just give it to me instead. Aren't you friends with him, though? I made that part up. Don't do mouth like that. Okay, it was mouth. If you want to give him money because he doesn't rip the clover out of his lawn, I can't stop you. But you should give me money because I did rip the clover out of my lawn. Because it was a lot of work. It's just the way I see it, personally. Okay, hearts. 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 It's a good heart. <clears throat> Clover is good though. Good how? Good for the bees? Honestly, I think it's like a little bit sussy that everybody is acting like we need to protect the bees. Like the bees have autonomy. I'm sure they can figure some shit out for themselves. I didn't say fuck the bees. I just said like they can do, they can do some work too. They clearly can't. Yeah, because we're enabling them. Have you ever seen the television program Intervention? I'm gonna lose, man. I'm gonna fucking lose. This is a straight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say... It's gotta be this right here. Okay, next challenge. Okay, this is a fun one. It's a good one. It's a lot of fun. Jokerless. Bees don't have agency. They're ruled by a monarch. Yeah, so is England. You don't hear me fucking going over there and teaching them how to tie their shoes. They can figure it out. Plus, I'm sure they have slip-ons anyway. Suit me. I'll go king-queen on this one. How you not got a strategy by this point, brother? Excuse me, is this Balatro Bob again? This is Lunch Break Mac. Balatro Bob, he's got fucking shooters, man. I'm going, I'm going one hand down, one ante down. With no scaling. That's right. I'm doing it. <coughs> I'm putting the system on trial. What does this do for us? What doesn't it do for us? We win in one hand. It gives us an opportunity to buy some stuff while still getting our econ popping. Holy frick. One moment, please. Okay. Best cards, Hero Fountain. Give me an amazing card. It's all ass, brother. We buy, we buy. Even a double sell doesn't get us there, so we gotta we gotta save up for a second here. My friend got jumped in Swag City for refusing to get econ popping. Let me guess. He freaking died. Wait, 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 wait. One pair, two of these. He's a genius. No, he was just asked to leave? Based? 
So I don't really know what I'm doing here. That's pretty good though. That's it, that's econ. It doesn't look like econ, but that's econ. Anti zero. <laughs> Basically got a flush. We got a flush. So what do you think you're gonna do here? I don't know, man. I, I'm just I'm happy that we're still on. Oh, you motherfucker! I'm happy we're still on anti one. You gotta make your deck better, bro. With one of these, and then one of these. I can live with it. Hmm, I can live with it. Not my favorite, just being honest. Okay, anti one. We can finally start playing. Diamond flush me. Whoops. <laughs> We're gonna get some diamonds. It's science. I'll play my gold card, though it pains me. Well, it would be better to hold it. It would be better to hold it. Three bucks. We're due. One $20 payout could actually change our life. Necessary. Hold. I'm saving money. I'm going economics mode. I have $14. It's anti one. We should relax. Pair is level two. Throw him some dog shit then. Relax, I'll handle it. A pita chip dipped in tzatziki. A celery stock dipped in Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. So I'm trying out my new my new TikTok character. Guy who is not AI but acts like AI. And D mixes the duet boomer. A jalapeno pep. <clears throat> A jalapeno pepper dipped in shit the bed resin oil. A jalapeno pepper dipped in shit the bed resin oil. It's not good. Oh, but if I was dressed like Beavis or Butthead, you'd probably be laughing your freaking AO. Dog shit, as usual. It was pretty good. I ain't mad at you. Hmm, a pair of a pair of threes dipped in Mama Liz's stone oil. I'm dumping. A pair of aces with a stone. Easiest play of my life. It's just math. I don't know why you're acting like I did something crazy. Why are we playing pairs? I don't know. I've lost confidence in myself. <laughs> anti two, anti two. This is the one, man. This is the one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. What am I even trying to do? We don't have anything at level three yet. Okay, okay. We got some shit though. Like, look at it. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. 20, 20 molt is 20 molts. Sell me. Buy me. 
by me. Fuck. <laughs> Give me one card. That's a great card. I'm happy to see it, man. I would love the hanged man as well. Empress keeps us alive, though. You gotta act like you've been there before. I don't know where the fuck we're going on this one. It's only anti too. There's no reason to cry yet. On the other hand... It's me, a San Jose Sharks fan. You're gonna make me cyberbully. Well, I don't know, the Sharks, I guess the Sharks and the Canucks have like some shared misery in the sense that they were like perennial candidates who never got over the hump. And then like, I mean, our regression is hopefully like on the cusp of being over, but your regression is like having basically just begun. I can understand where you're at. That being said, I love the quote from the Sharks goalie who was like, yeah, I played pretty well, but then like, it doesn't matter that much because we're all going to die someday anyway. And I was like, he's, he's spitting, man. I'd really like to play my four. <clears throat> I'm a Capitals fan. You can't do that, okay? Like, listen, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. I know we've been through this time and time again. But sad boy sports fandom is so cringe to me. I was gonna say pathetic, so you might take issue with the word cringe, but I find the uh, pathetic was the other word I was gonna use, okay? I just hate when people are like, cause like, I, I already see it happening with the Canucks, okay? We're probably gonna win the Pacific Division. So we're going to have home ice advantage in the playoffs, but Canucks fans are going to be like, yeah, but we matched up against LA. I don't really think we have a chance. Just fucking, it's sports, bro. You don't need to bake in like the, oh, my expectations are low. So whatever happens, happens, right? Like, just be like, I'm rooting for the blue team. They lost. Okay, I'm going to fucking do the dishes. It's fine. But it's way worse when it's like a team that has had success in like the last decade. You're a Capitals fan, sad, sad boy face. What are you talking, you won the Stanley Cup in like 2016 or something. You're chilling, bro. You had, you had Ovechkin, he's gonna be the highest or second highest scoring goal scorer in NHL history. He was on your team for his entire career. What are you complaining about? Sens fans, well, they can complain for sure. We're lit over here. Don't let that guy speak for us. Okay, okay, my mistake. I wasn't familiar with your game. What about Blue Jackets fans? Certainly more deserving of putting the sad face. All right, that was fun. Let's go again. What about Blackhawks fans? No, absolutely cannot complain. Three Stanley Cups, an enormous uh, sexual assault cover-up history, still allowed to keep their franchise and gifted the number one pick in the last draft when there was a generational talent. What are you complaining about? Red Wings? Are you fucking stupid? What do you, how would the Red Wings have anything to complain about? They made the playoffs 26 years straight and have won like four Stanley Cups in my lifetime. What have you, you've been bad for like five years and you're not even that bad. Now, if somebody was like, what about the Sabres? I'd be like, dude, fucking cope however you need to cope. That's rough. But the Red Wings, like, what are you talking about? Eight years, no playoffs. That is pretty bad. I'm a Rangers fan. They haven't won the cup in my lifetime. Okay, so you're fucking born 1994 or later. How many teams have won the cup in your lifetime? Like 11 teams total? You're just down here with the rest of us. What the fuck are you crying about? Hang on, where are we? We don't spend, we keep interest. That's better for interest. 
Coyotes fans. Coyotes fans are the ones who should be crying. Thank you. Because not only is their team now moving, but like the entire time they were in the NHL, they were just getting made fun of like the whole time. And the number one thing that they made fun of them for, besides never having a successful season, except that time they made the conference finals. I'm not piling on. I'm just calling it like I see it, okay? Was like, hey, your team shouldn't exist. Um, it's going to get moved. And then you had to be like, no, it's not. Gary Bettman is committed to keeping us here. And then in like 48 hours, he was like, psych. Remember all that stuff I said? We're moving the team to damn Utah. That sucks ass. You can't be mad at me. My basketball team got moved. Now, I don't watch basketball, and I did, if I did, I wouldn't have rooted for the Grizzlies at the time, but still. Thoughts on the Habs? Controversial statement, perhaps. I think Habs fans actually can complain. They did win a Stanley Cup in my lifetime in 1993, and they have won 26 in their history, but almost all of those were from like 1900 to like 1980, okay? So like n nobody here was alive for most of those, let's be honest. And then I was a Montreal Canadiens fan growing up, so for like 20 years, and they were basically like ass the whole time. They'd usually sneak in as like a number eight seed in the playoffs, and then sometimes they'd knock off the Boston Bruins, and then Richard Zednick would get his throat slashed by a skate or something like that, and then the whole thing would fall apart. Some great runs, Yaroslav Halak in 2010, knocking out the Washington Capitals after they won the President's Trophy. But like there were there were 20 years of Montreal Canadiens fandom between like Pierre Turgeon and uh, Carey Price where they had like one all star. And they did make the finals in the bubble, but like that was a an accident. <laughs> that was that was a glitch in the random number generator. The architect will not allow that to happen again, nor the builder. Mickey Mouse finals. Le Kucherov. Um, dump him. We're going straight mode here. Yar, 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 yar. Flyers fans? Yeah, you can complain. Flyers fans can definitely complain. I could, I could probably go down and give you the list, to be honest. But I'm not gonna, unless I can't think of anything else to say, because kind of, not that many people watch hockey, honestly, so... I'm just saying, I don't want to see it. I know I'm going to see it, but I don't want to see too much out of it. Or too much out of Canucks fans this playoffs. I definitely, like, I, I, I just can't stand the sports energy of, like, my team did good, but we're probably, I just know we're going to lose tonight. You're like, we're all going to die someday, brother. Why are you doing it? Because I think that, like, if, let's say the Canucks get matched up against the Stars. Let's say they get matched up against Vegas. What separates me from a Dallas fan or a Vegas fan? Some la longitude and latitude? What do I care? I'm not going to diminish a, a Golden Knights victory by being like, I knew we were going to lose. Hmm. I might diminish it by saying, like, I hope that the NHL closes all those uh, like loopholes in the salary cap that allow you to abuse long-term injured reserve. But like, I, I hate the game, not the player. Okay, this, this could change our life. I, how far we've come that I used to think Ouija was a trap, and now I'm like, this is the, our, our last chance for greatness. 1600, but we do this. Eights, eights, eights. We can play a full house. It's not going to win. Get it twisted, it's not gonna win. Eights. Things you love to see. 
<clears throat> anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. I just want to see Canucks fans act like they've been there before. That's, I guess that's what I'm saying, as a Canucks fan myself. And if we lose in the first round, fucking, I don't know, go cry about it. Go to Bonds Off Broadway or something like that. Go to Duffin's Donuts. Go to Lucy's East Side Diner and fucking chill, bro. Have a fat tug and relax. It's going to be a beautiful summer. Have you looked outside recently? You got nothing to worry about. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Let's get some money. Bro, my eights are going to be debuffed. Fuck it, we ball. Has Peloton talk gone away? There should be a, a Peloton for sex. Me trying to come up with a bit off the top of my head with no preparation. Um, 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 cause like, you, I, what are you talking about? Well, like, listen, the AI is, is rising up, right? People are going to be having sex with like androids and stuff like that. Somebody's got to develop the sex training app. Because, like, the way that this shit worked in the early 2000s or something like that, you know, you'd be, like, 19 years old, you Google, like, sex tips, and you try to get, like, an encyclopedia of them so that when it finally happens, you're like, check it out, I'm like the Michael Jordan of basketball of sex. But then, like, what, once every year you get a chance? It's too much pressure. You're trying to put all this shit in the practice that you read online, but you never actually got any training in the lab. And then you fuck it up and then you got to wait like another year to try again. That's why we need like an app that's like, okay, day one, just start with the fucking foreplay. And then you do like a month of foreplay and then they're like, okay, now we're going to work on like the next step. And like, you know, I don't want to get too into it. I'm, I'm just saying. Then we would have some serious sexual superstars out there. They need some on the job training, bro. You can't just go to reddit.com slash r slash sex tips or something like that and then hold that information in your brain. You need to get some time like out of the saddle. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you guys. I'm looking out for you. I got it under control. You don't even have to worry about that. I'm so good at it. I can get it done in like 30, 45 seconds sometimes. It's you guys that I'm worried about. You, oh, I do it all night long. I think you're doing it fucking wrong, bro. I think you're, you're, something's not right in your methodology, okay? You need the app. I just need the funding. Gold Seal 8. I'm on SSRIs, bro. Give me a break. We could have like a setting for that in the app or something like that. We could have themed, themed sexual rides. <laughs> yeah, dude, it would work. They all laughed at the guy who invented the AI pin, too, but now look at him. I haven't been to YouTube today. Is he doing okay? I want to save money. We may need this to live. Oh, this is going to give me an Earth card. I don't want an Earth card. Mm, it's okay. I got a plan. Looks a little bit like this. I understand the problems here. We're going to get 16 extra chips. It's going to be like 1,100 points roughly. We hold for now. And now the chickens... Dare I say, coming home to roost, brother. <laughs> I'm not using the fool yet, though. You know why? We can save it to pop off with a better card. Anti-3. Anti-3 with a lot of eights. Oh, you motherfucker. Sevens that turn into eights. Me if I got a hairpiece. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a peek. Cool eight, absolutely. Dump them. Oh, strength 
them. Hmm. How droll. Another delightful hand. <laughs> There's a chance. Y'all take care now. Hey, hey, hey! He just died, man! Relax with that stuff. Could, could go Super Hermit on this one. That seems like a good idea. <clears throat> also, I see you Gen Z making all the jokes about OJ. You weren't there, motherfucker, okay? That's my history. Sitting on the couch with my mom, age six years old. My mom was a little bit older. Watching the O.J. Simpson trial on court TV. Wondering what the hell's going on. Seeing the dude pretend that the glove didn't fit when it was on his fucking hand. You stick to making jokes about uh, Percy Jackson and the lightning thief or something like that, okay? I was there, man. Holy frick. Can you feel it, John? It's raining Alizé in the sugar streets. I'm dumping. I'm dumping. I trust the process here. We trust the process here. And then give me a five of a kind. Mm. It's okay. We just go again. No! Sorry, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, it's on this. Not so bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's sixty-one dollars, bro. This challenge is breaking you. This is actually like the first time I actually feel like we have a chance. Especially, I I have not gotten to this point for quite some time. Realistic win condition for us. A voucher that lets us get more tarot cards or more planets. Keep the econ pumping and then we can scale thusly. And for relatively cheap as well. Sixers win in the finals this year. Mm, yeah, maybe if Joel Embiid gets a meniscus transplant. You know what I'm saying, y'all? We have a lot of fun here. I'm dumping you. I don't care. I don't know what I'm... I, listen. This boss cooks you? Mm, this boss doesn't even cook fucking food. It orders DoorDash all the time, actually. This boss is nothing. It's decroted. It's garbage. It's pure ass. I fear nothing. Only thing to fear is fear itself, my brother. Hope I'd draw some eights at some point, though. I wouldn't lie to you about that. Wouldn't lie to you about that one. Five eights. It's where we want to be. And then maybe 20 molt would fucking hit the spot, bro. Three dollars. Oh, you're right, it cooks me! I have to play the five of a kind. It's got it. it, it it's all we got, man. This one at least had some chips. Four eights. Oh. <laughs> please God, please God. Somehow, there's no way. That fucking stings, bro. Okay, we go again. That we were actually popping on that one thanks to that Ouija too. Double tag could save our life, you never know. You've heed your last ha. Huh? So true. I mean look at look at what this shit has done to me. 
I'm out here saying like, no, don't discard the fives, discard the fours instead. There's more chips. That's embarrassing. I'm not playing this garbage. <laughs> Two double tags though. I just don't like the vibes, honestly. Don't like the vibes. Is this even fun? How old are you? I just got a question for you, okay? Not everything in life is about fun maxing. At some point, the rubber hits the road, okay? You might have to do some difficult stuff in your life. It's hard. It's hard. Listen, I wish I could just shake it off anyway and be like, no, 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 play something fun like League of Legends, a game that makes me lose all faith in my fellow man, a game that uh, takes us back to before human beings touched the monolith from outer space and became enlightened and we were just beating each other to death with dinosaur bones. We don't game for fun anymore, okay? That's antiquated knowledge. What we game for is simulated progress and excellence that we find wanting in our real life. It's fucking hard to achieve things in real life, bro. You got constraints, competition, luck, circumstances outside of your control. But in a game, you can fucking just finesse it, bro. We got motherfuckers out there playing games on max difficulty and then downloading cheats. Just take it back to easy, brother. What's the problem? Okay, we're cooked. We're cooked on this one. We go again. I'm going to give this like one more chance than I'm doing the dulls today. Because this is, we're, we're just not making any progress. That's pretty nice though. Boss is the pillar. Glad you had to stop and think about it. Okay, we take telescope early. Skip to my fucking Lou. Now, well, this is nice. I'm not gonna try to make a straight build, but I do appreciate it showing up early. Shoot me. David Spade. It's a double joke, because I forgot his last name was also the, a suit of cards. David Spade in 1998, be like, just suit me. David Spade playing Balatro in 1998. Be like, just suit me. Huge, huge, huge. Potentially. Hold me. What am I going to do with a strength card if I'm going for fucking whatever? Am I going? No, I'm not going for straights. I'm not necessarily going for straights. Cut a pair. Goodbye to my eights. Take this. Standard pack me. This is actually not as good as I thought it was, but that's fine. Okay, cool five. I respect a cool five. Rank me. Rank me and hold for now. We hold. See, this is what we want to see. I was just going to say we'd like to see some queens as well. Strength me. Fool me. Strength me. And then there's a part of me that says we play four of a kinds instead of five of a kind because it's easier to hit. We play it enough, we get... Reliable four of a kind Marses in our celestial packs. Well, okay, we're gonna need some support, but still. There's something to it. There's something to it. You don't have the scaling? It's anti-two, motherfucker. Nobody has anything. 
We got to, it's all based on perspectives. Otherwise, they just call it white stake difficulty. Hi, Priestess Me. Always happy with a little bit of help. You don't have the potential scaling. I'll just get a good joker. Spectral? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, Ouija me! Oh, you piece of crap. And then you didn't give me any motherfucking kings? You piece? Okay, we'll go queens then. This is good. This is it's pretty good. It's almost tempting to throw this and then hope to draw a five and then play another five with the cool five. I Let's send it, brother. Oh! The even cooler five. Oh, yeah, blank. <laughs> uh, uh. Gone and done it again, y'all. We're gonna copy some fives. I know we got kings going on in this too, but. Well, I, it does both, brother. It does both. We are gonna need some help. We are. Did it say decreases value of hand played? We don't have a full house. No! I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't even worry about this. Just throw some dookie at him. When did NL start these screams? Here we go. Here we I wish I I miss the old NL with the erudite commentary. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Hmm. The philosophical questions that were parlances of our times that we've asked ourselves on myriad occasion. Back when I was in the fifth grade, this was great food for thought. Now all he does is make loud noises and reference bands I've never heard of. How was that? That was a little preview of, I guess it was a review of what it used to be like here. And talk about hockey. Some truth to that for sure. Some truth to that, Mars. Boys go to Mars to hit the bars, girls go to Jupiter. I don't know why, honestly, I don't know why. They won't tell me. It's all right, we just need like four or four of a kinds. It's actually like pretty easy. <laughs> to drive some cars on Jupiter? They're driving the car. On, that seems like more of a Martian thing to me personally, but what do I know? Mm, okay, we'll probably go one more in this bitch. We clown in this motherfucker. We got one more in us. Two, three, four, five, six. Is this jokerless? Nah, I'm just playing around. Just having fun. <laughs> hmm, a hundred points, please. That's a hundred points if I've ever seen it. Oh, a hundred dollars for me?
God is my witness, I think we need some planets just to have a chance to live. Actually, maybe two pair goes fucking crazy, bro. Because we get the benefit out of all the fucking chips that are involved. It really doesn't. One molt scaling? Yeah, but that one molt times the chips, bro. See, I, I feel like you're not thinking about the chips in this ecosystem. You're only focusing on the negative. <laughs> I would love... To, well, you know what? We can get both. You start here. Then you go spectral. Normally, I would, I would go crazy for the medium, but... I don't know, I'm tunnel visioned on like four of a kind with more aces or something. Sure, 10 jack, queen, king, ace. Rip interest. Pop quiz, hot shot. What's the fucking prime rate right now? Well, the interest rate in Balatro, you get $1 for every $5 that you owe. What, what's your fucking mortgage refinance that, bitch? You don't know? You got your priorities all crisscrossed, brother. You're worrying about dollars. You ain't got no sense. 2.85. All right, I love that for you. That's great. That is really good. 5.6. You know, when, when you buy your house, it's not your fault that we were in the fucking, you know, inflation era. I think they should bail you out, honestly. I mean, even 5 points, there's people out there that probably rock in a... Uh, Probably rocking like a 6.5 right now, so. Prime plus two? That's fucking crazy. No disrespect. Prime plus two? Six point nine. Me ruining my financial future, but getting a fucking sick joke out of it <laughs> that's easy to remember <laughs> 0 0.6 holy man spy down 1.4 percent today we're cooked zoom out brother can you imagine showing somebody in 2021 uh, that that tweet be like we're cooked s p 500 is only at 5100 right now it might be down a little. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. It's not necessary to look at it. Hang on. Once we got lots of aces. Love to. Well, you fuck you. Glass cards. That's how we do it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just zoom out. Me, me after the COVID crash. Yeah, it's down 40% this month, but like it's up. It's like a hundred bagger since 1902. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, an ace. This is the one, man. This, it's actually possibly the one Jet Li these will not break if they both break I'm gonna play the dulls oh hold Emperor me I was really hoping to get some good shit out of that. <laughs> hmm, discard me with a smile. Discard me with a smile. Where's my aces, little brother? No, I don't even have the space for it! Let me see what it is. It was a king, it was a king, it was a king. Hmm, so what, we play nothing. That's the start of this. There's a real flush five potential here. None of them are gonna break. It's unbreakable glass. This shit, gorilla glass. 
Yes! Telescope obviously has some importance. You gotta give it a chance. Go for go for the moon. Even if you miss, you're gonna land amongst the stars. Neptune. No thanks. Saturn, Mercury. Buy it. Buy me a Mercury. Cruise me up and down the road. Aces. 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 That's what we wish. Hold these as a just in case. Sorry, King. Big plays. Death card. Goes crazy. Sure, sure. No, I understand what you're going to say. You're going to say NL. You can make four nines. I don't want four nines. I want a large Farva. Send it. She listens to Mozart. She does Thai bow. Are you saying like she's the kind of girl that reminds you that there's a room to grow? Yeah, 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 yeah. No glass ace! We go one more time. That's That stings, brother. That's, it, that stings. I got one more in me. Hipster who doesn't really understand what being a hipster is like. Yeah, I got uh, the last Mozart symphony on vinyl from Urban Outfitters this weekend. I used to have it on CD, but I just find like it, you know, it just sounds nice. It sounds more real. It sounds more visceral on vinyl. Needs a little work. Who doesn't these days? I want the voucher. And I want it now. You guys think I should uh, brat pivot? Like just start becoming a brat? Yeah? Yeah? Everybody's saying yeah. Name one time the internet's ever been wrong about anything. What is a brat? You know. I told you that I wanted birthday cake for lunch. This isn't birthday cake. This is a retirement cake. I'm gonna yell. This feels weird. Gen Z discovering a joke doesn't have to be problematic. It, it could just not be funny to begin with. Um... <laughs> Is this sexist? Why am I not laughing? It's because it's not fucking funny. It happens all the time. There's no reason, there's no overarching reason you're not laughing except that there's no humor involved. Save the bit by making it too real. Let's go. Hmm. Suppose I could play four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, a straight flush. <laughs> Is that what they're calling a suited run these days? Well, nevertheless. Maybe there's something to it. I don't know. Straight flush? Is that what they call it when you put Chapel Rowan on the jukebox at the gay bar? Because it not it like... Help me out, Gen Z! Help me out! He knows Chapel Rowan? I don't know Chapel Rowan. Explain the joke. Maybe the, the flush could be to flush people out. Straight flush? You're flushing the straight people out of the gay bar by playing... Chapel Roan on the jukebox, who is a, a, a gay ally. 
Wait, you got me? Plus two. The rare time explaining the joke takes it from a minus two to a plus two. And all I had to do was let the mask slip and reveal my heterophobia. He's an ally. You know what? Let's walk back that ally stuff. I want to see a toxic gay marriage. You know why? There's some gay superiority on social media. Anytime a heterosexual couple has a problem, all the quote tweets are like, are the straights okay? Do straight people even love their spouses? Why do so many straight people get married to people they don't even like? And I'm like, I bet there's some fucked up gay marriages out there, okay? I bet there's some marriages where like one of the husbands like constantly interrupts the other one and talks over them and the other one like subtly undermines the dude by talking about him behind his back in the group chat or something like that. I guarantee it, man. They will not divide us. Like Ellen. <laughs> I didn't say shit about Ellen. I was talking about Chapel Rowan, okay? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, man. So tell you ever just put on a funny voice? Me in the voice chat when no one's talked for 25 seconds? The architect and the builder arrive calmly from the escalator with a sense of purpose. Relax, I'll handle it. I know what to do. Who said that? This is what we do. We got to we got to go high cards because we need chips. Easiest way to get chips is to have high cards, bro. This fucking ass. It was pure garbage. How does that happen? Are we chatting with a real person right now? This is real as it gets, man. Get it twisted. I'm the only authentic person on planet Earth. Everybody else is a robot. Do you love salt and vinegar or hate it? Rare example, might I suggest, a rare example of a true dilemma? Many people would say that that is uh, a false dilemma. I would, I would heartily and verily disagree with them. I think that there are, there are no salt and vinegar tolerators. There are only enjoyers and detractors. And I am an enjoyer, 100%. It's one of my favorite flavors. It's not even up for discussion. I'm sending it. We, we can't just... Wait, maybe we can play full houses now that I think about it. Because we just upgraded them. They give me canker sores. Yeah, me too. I can't argue with that one. You know what? Maybe I'm a detractor. If, uh, d despite all my rage, the rat just slipped the damn cage. Nah. Miss Vicky's kind of goaded with the sauce. You're going to fucking kill me, huh? This is how it ends? Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Or, you know, fucking, I don't know. If you're on the internet these days, a little bit of both. <laughs> you're all fake. I'm the, you're snakes. I'm the only real person here. Shit from butt. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll play. Yeah, 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 it's no problem. Let's just play two four of a kinds. It's easy, man. It's easy. It's pretty much automatic. Okay. 
Could always draw two sixes. Come on, brother. Come on. I got one more in me. It's not going to be for that, though. It's for this. This is the one. Okay. E great start. All hearts. The deck is all hearts. Okay. A little bit upset with you for this, but... You did an upgrade four of a kind last run. You want to loan me some motherfucking money, man? You want to loan me some motherfucking money? My ass was broke, dude. I had no options. Are you a closer or an unknown pleasures guy? I'm a closer guy. You got me with that one. You got me with a great question. Closer to what? Get it twisted. You will know Joy Division. Closer to God. I am, I, I am a closer guy when it comes to Nine Inch Nails as well. Come to Kyrgyzstan. Listen, I'll keep it real with you, brother. If you set up the fucking five-star hotel in Bishkek, you might see me there. You might see me there. If I get the email and it says queen size bed at the Ramada, you won't catch me on the flight to Bishkek International Airport, okay? Bishkek mention. <laughs> How about the closer on TV? You talking about Kira Sedgwick, motherfucker? How do you feel about her? Wasn't she the one who lied to get her kids into college? No, that's... Um... Lori Laughlin, but also the other one... Uh, will you... Felicity Huffman! Felicity Huffman, thank you. <laughs> Sorry for snapping my fingers badly in your face many times. Yummy. Big flushes, big flushes, big flushes. Me at the shit store. Um, yeah. Bishkek has multiple five-star hotels with many different kinds of beds. I apologize, Bishkek. I wasn't familiar with your game. Wasn't trying to make any enemies of my Kyrgyzstan viewers. Hey, what nationality do you make fun of in Kyrgyzstan? We don't. We yeah 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 no no no. You're amongst friends. You know how in Hungary they make fun of Scottish people for some reason. Who do they make fun of in Kyrgyzstan? Uzbekistan. Okay, I do it. A, I'm doing a full Kyrgyzstan pivot. What does someone from Uzbekistan do when they uh, get cold? Move closer to the candle. What do they do if they get really cold? Um, light it. <laughs> My stock in Kyrgyzstan is going through the motherfucking roof right now, bro. My streamer. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Him? I'm dumping. Draw some fucking goals, England! I guess we would play a straight flush, huh? <laughs> Holy... Doink. For three bucks, how could I not? Mm. 
we need the help. Econ pumping. This is the run. I can't, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. But not in a funny way this time. You see Logan Paul has a baby now? Mm, I didn't see that. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. I don't have, I don't even have a, I wish him the best of luck, honestly. It's an adventure. Every day is a gift, man. Changes your life, though. Might think twice about getting involved in celebrity boxing. Or maybe, what do I know? Maybe not. Maybe you'll tell me to go fuck myself or something. I don't know. That's what I was hoping to see right there. That's his border? His kid is his border? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> 16 times 5 is 80. That's not enough, bro. 30 times 2 is 60. That's not enough, bro. That's enough. <laughs> Not by much. Not by much. Please, Ouija me. No Ouija. Oh, oh cool king though. Oh! Hang on, y'all. Y'all take care now. There's a chance. Suit me, David Spade. We already we already did the David Spade joke. Um, there's no hearts in the deck anymore. It's easy. Just drop five hearts again. Actually, it wasn't that bad. They're, honestly, like, I'm a little upset just because they're my cards. So, like, why are they hiding from me? Like, I, I bought you in the first place, bro. It's dog shit, huh? It's dog shit? We can't get 200 points out of this motherfucker? King of clubs? King of clubs? Come on, you got me. You got me. No! Okay, it's time for the dolls. I'm going to go to the bathroom first, though. Slash marker. Mm, Jokerless. See you in two minutes. This is an honest question. How the fuck are you supposed to buy like a 15 foot ladder?
No, I know, I know what store I can get it from. But, like, how am I supposed to get it home? They're collapsible? I'm kind of scared about buying, like, a collapsible ladder, though. Because what if I'm up on the eaves trough and the fucking latches go? Aren't I going to be like, Whoa! Daddy's going for a ride. That would probably kill me. Yeah, I'd have to imagine that would probably... Well, I guess it depends whether I landed on a shrub or, like, the stones... I bet it would hurt like a motherfucker. You got a better chance of dying on the way to Home Depot? Normally I would plus two that, but I don't know if that's true. Car accidents do happen all the time, but I also feel like a surprisingly high amount of people die in, like, household accidents. And there's only so many ways you can die in a household accident. I gotta imagine, like, most of them are falls. Falling down the stairs, doing a, a chore, you fall off the ladder. Household accidents are the number one killer by far. We're just, I, I'm, I'm trying, I thought you were on my side, but you don't need to lie. Our argument is already strong. Household accidents are not the number one cause of death. It's like heart attacks, man. I'm in a household right now. <clears throat> it really do be your own. No, I'm just reading my emails. Worst streamer just dropped? <laughs> I'm literally just reading my emails with the screen off. Um, right, if I wanted to be a good streamer, I would wait for my DoorDash to come, and then I would read my emails while eating my food. Did I tell you guys that we ordered DoorDash on, like, last Thursday, and the dude just ate the food and peaced out? He was hungry? Why? Well, listen, I'm not going to say like he should go to prison or anything. It was just kind of put us out a little bit because it took like, you know, you made the order and then it took like 45 minutes for him to pick it up from the restaurant. And then as soon as he picked it up from the restaurant, it was like, enjoy your food. I was like, it just kind of, it's not that we just didn't get the food. It's also that it fucked up our schedule by like 45 minutes. <laughs> so true. I bet you didn't expect such a hungry guy. Let me get one of those slices. What did you think was going to happen here? That I wouldn't be hungry? That I wouldn't ask for a slice? Insanely good bit. On DoorDash, you basically get a free contract violation every 50 deliveries. Wait, is that fucking true? That's sick, bro. You know what we got to do to counter that meta? I got to stop ordering delicious food. I got to start ordering some like mediocre food instead. Because that's going to make me less of a target. What, what were we doing getting Korean fried chicken? We should have gotten like a Chipotle burrito bowl or something like that. Then he would have been like, no, 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 I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the get out of jail free card. The dolls. Pokedoku master puzzled by out of context Pokemon. Blue, blue Porygon. Blue Porygon. Or is that, is that Porygon Z? Sorry. I'm not trying to make any enemies here at the start of Pokedoku. I just, I'm trying to make sure. Porygon Z. Fire dual type. Maybe you've heard of him. 
He's the Giga Chad Charizard bug dual type. Yeah, Scyther, bro. He's flying bug. Final evolution dual type. Yeah, maybe you've heard of him. Dragonite, bro. He's dragon flying or something. Now, Galar is the one where the Weezing wears the top hat. Weezing Galar. My God. Hone, can I get a hone check, please? Sapphire. Ah, oh, shit. Would you, third gen. Okay, third gen. Bug Pokemon from the third gen. Anorith. Oh! Bug Pokemon from the Galar gen. Easy. Beedrill Galar. Easy. Caterpie Galar. Cowboy hat Caterpie? Dipped in eradicate a Lola resin oil sauce. What is cowboy hat caterpie? This must be like an inside joke, right? He got that blank on him. So true. I have no idea. He's balling. That's like the cool guy Squirtle. The Pokemon Go Squirtle that has the sunglasses. You know what I'm talking about. On Inside Joke. I love Inside Jokes. Hope to be a part of one someday. Galar Fire. Infernape Galar. Cinder Ace Galar. Arcanine. Arcanine Hizui. <laughs> Darmanitan Galar. Darman but there's a red Darmanitan. There's a red. It's got. Dude, he's got fire. Darmanitan Galar is in. Yo! Okay. Bug, Weedle, Galar, Bug, Sizor, Galar, Scyther, Galar, Galar, Growlith, Growlith Hizui. It's a different story. That's, I think the bird is in the backpack and you find the little dudes dancing around the music notes. Bug, Bug, Galar, Anorith. Galar, Orthworm, Worm a damn Sandy, Worm a damn Trash, Mothim, Rotom Frost, Venomoth Andy, I mean Galar, okay, I'm in trouble here. Hone Final Evolution. Oh, doesn't include Pokemon without an evolutionary line. Okay, well, well we can derive this. Fire, let me think for a second. Could be Torchic, right? Could be Torchic. It is Torchic. Torchic evolves into Rooster. Torchic evolves into Wo Chien. Torchic. Torchic. I don't know what you evolve into, to be honest with you. Tor. <laughs> Tornadus Incarnate? Tornadus. Good day to you! My name is Tornadus Therian! No way! Another Tornadus! I'm Tornadus Incarnate! I'm Dick Tracy, you're Clayface. I'm Clay Tracy, you're... I don't know. Boom, Torterra, maybe. Maybe he was introduced in Gen 3. Oh, mother, mother fricker. Totodile. No, 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 no. There's Your modem be like... Um, uh, 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 so there's, is it Mudkip? Is it Marsh Stomp then? Is it Marsh? Is not Marsh Stomp is the teenage Mudkip? Swampert. Swampert? Yes! 
<clears throat> Our Uzbekistan just responded, by the way. Please stop taking my jokes that I make for your benefit and then snitch posting them to relevant subreddits with the context stripped out to make people mad. It's like extremely cringe energy. I don't know why you'd think that I would think it's funny. It's just I, I would rather you didn't, honestly. We got an 8 out of 8 today. We missed or Beetle or Frozmoth. <laughs> 8 out of 8? Well, the middle square is free. What, you never went plat in bingo? Sorry, I'm realizing as well I have to change my... Um, Game name to just chatting. You were looking for Blaziken? No shot. Torchic evolves into Blaziken? Doesn't the dude, like, he turns into a soccer player? He goes from bird to soccer player? Mid, I'm going to say early 2010s high school movie. This is Project X. This is Chronicle. This is Easy A. This is Elephant. It's the Shawshank Redemption. Eighth grade. There's a mall in eighth grade. This is tag, bro. This is tag. That's uh, the, um, uh, Jake. And that's John. Jake and John from tag. Hey, Nong man. That is not Jason Manzukis, my brother. That is Jake Johnson. He's looking a little Manzukis's. In the picture, for sure. It looks like he could say, you know, ta-ta, Mr. Wick, but... He's got a certain Manzukian lilt, if you will. Dan Bailey was the starting kicker for this NFC team for six years. Nuts on the table. I'd probably have to go Vikings on that one. Nicknamed the Manimal, this energetic Nuggets power forward averaged over 11 points and 8 rebounds per game from 2011 to 2018. Manny Leaks. Nope, okay. <laughs> Kenneth Fareed, the Manimal, of course, of course. What major Canadian city acted as the host for the 2010 Olympics? That's a tough one. There we go. We always get one sports question. In 1984, this politician was Walter Mondale's running mate, making her the first female vice presidential nominee representing a major American political party. I honestly don't know the answer. Fair enough. That's a tough one. I don't think it's Olympia Dukakis. Dude, that's pretty sure she's an actor. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Janet Reno. They don't even have her ass in the game, bro. Kamala Harris. <laughs> Probably Chiang Kai-shek, I think. That's John Stamos. And then... Tina Fey? I'm going to say it's Tina Fey. Oh! <laughs> oh! This buffet chain became originating out of Texas. This pizza chain became popular in the 2000s for its value buffet featuring a macaroni and cheese pizza. What is Marco's Pizza? I don't know. <laughs> CC's? Ricky, Ethel, and Fred. We're on I Love Lucy, probably. Or either that or a shot at love with Tila Tequila. 
Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg were in fucking Uncharted, bro. Which is also how you would describe its performance at the box office. Both commercially and critically successful, this guitarist and singer released songs in the 2000s. Who is John Mayer? We still passed. I knew, like, listen... It's great to be Canadian, because if I ever get a question about American history wrong, I can just say, I don't live there. What's your excuse? 47% got the mashup today. I'm proud of them. Geraldine Ferraro. I just, to be honest, a blind spot. I just didn't know. No disrespect to Walter Mondale, but I do think that if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure he got 16 electoral college votes. No disrespect. That's just facts. I'm not saying it should have gone down like that. I'm just saying. He got lit up. <laughs> he did. He got, he got rocked, man. Listen, he, I'm, again, I'm not, I wish it went down the other way, but he went 1v1 mid. He went band for band with Ronald Reagan, and Ronald Reagan had been CSing for four years. Like, the dude was fucking fed. He had Midas already, he had Scotty's, he had Agonim Scepter, and you went 1v1 mid, you and Geraldine Ferraro, you were lucky to win Minnesota, bro. After he went down, Reagan pushed racks, though, and we're still dealing with the consequences today. Fucking mega creeps all around us, man. Or something, I don't know, the metaphor kind of fell apart, but... Okay. Okay, easy. To make up, to ad lib, to improv, to freestyle. Four genres of rap music. Cosmetic. Placebo effect. Butterfly effect. Side effect. Cosmetic or external effect. That's going to be one for sure. Dom domino effect? Domino effect. That makes sense. Effects. Cosmetic babel external surface. Surface tension. Coo. Coo. C-O-O. -O. Coo. Coo. Oh, things babies do. Crawl, coo, babble, nurse. <laughs> it's the easiest connections of all time. Surface. External. Shallow. Cosmetic. Oh, what is superficial. Or relating to the appearance of. Still got it. Words that mean things. For people who have never been in my kitchen, it's a little Cheers reference for you. A red flower or a pink wine? Mmm, rosé. Shrug. Lydia Tar. Change the Constitution. Amend. Arctic floater. Berg. <laughs> oh, clip it. Easiest mini of all time. One of the damn clues was an emoji. The New York Times has fallen. Well, well, well. How droll. Mm -hmm. The next mini must be at least two times bigger than that. Nazoya organic firm tofu, four times 18 ounces organic sprouted firm tofu, Nazoya made with sprouted soybeans. Let me guess, one of these things says plant-based. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, eight grams of protein per serving, no disrespect to the tofu. Cheddar and jalapeno bagel from Costco, 13 grams of protein. I don't even, it's just flour, and somehow they got 13 grams of protein into that thing. Now, it does have 60 grams of carbs, I'll give you that. If you're not on the Peloton, you might want to be careful with that, but... I, I was stunned when I looked at it and saw that it was 13 grams of protein. I guess, I mean, you're right. Flour must be, it's 12% protein. 
Easier digestion and nutrient absorption. <laughs> four 18-ounce blocks. Net weight, four and a half pounds. Holy fuck, boys. I'm going to say that's $13.99. Cheaper. $10.99. $7.99? I got to go vegetarian, bro. This is crazy. Five forty nine. That's further away. <laughs> six forty nine for that's like a like a dollar twenty six a pound or something. Ham is the cheapest lunch meat. That shit's like I don't even know. It's like five or six bucks a pound, man. Start eating tofu sandwiches. It's tofu though. I will say I'm not a I'm not anti tofu. I'm not a huge tofu guy. Even when I was vegetarian, I always defaulted to the beans rather than the tofu. For me personally, but No, I've had mapo tofu. Listen, you're not don't condescend to me. I've been to restaurants. My ideal form of tofu, agadashi tofu, nice appetizer at a sushi place. Other than that, I'm like Maybe it sounds crazy. I, I swear to you, I can only say that I'm being honest with myself. And if you think that I'm lying, then just consider what my motivation for that could possibly be. If it was like, you can either have chicken teriyaki, hold the chicken, or tofu teriyaki, I would honestly be like, could you just give me the chicken teriyaki, hold the chicken, and maybe throw in like some extra carrots or something. I'm not, I'm not a big tofu guy. Real? I swear to you, real. Bro wants saucy rice? Yeah. Mmm, Chad. It is really funny that it looks like a face. Oh, is it funny that the borders were caused by centuries of European colonialism? Who said that? Who said that? I don't know the history of Chad. All I know is it looks like a dude, okay? Nobody said it. Someone was thinking it. It's an r slash child free mod was thinking it for sure. No disrespect or whatever. Mmm, Belarus. Hmm. Perhaps a little Azerbaijan. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> I did not mean to be so rude. It was not me. It was my food. Ireland. Warmer. Fucking Faroe Islands, bro. Did you mean the Netherlands? Here we go again. Fucking Iceland. It is Iceland. Look at that. Who would have thought... Imagine being a Viking in like the 11th century. Your ass sails from Norway to Iceland. You're chilling on Iceland for a bit. You're like, it's cold as fuck here. You sail a little bit further. Grass. Holy shit, there's grass here. And moss and loam and fucking peat. Well, let's set up a fucking outpost here. Six months later, the winter comes in. You're on the biggest iceberg in planet Earth. Can you imagine leaving Norway in a, in a fucking reed boat, sailing across the North Sea, zooming out at the end of your life and realizing your ass landed in Greenland? You'd be like, what the fuck, bro? It's the worst trade in human history. I went from Oslo to Nook. They did not have reed boats. Okay, fucking wood or whatever. You. Timber of some sort. They were long, I know that. They had the longest boats, people. They did. Hello, Chibli. Hello. They also landed in Florida. Now, that must have been sick. But can you imagine being like a Viking and landing in Florida? And then, like, you're like, this is amazing here. A little hot, but, you know, it is a little muggy. 
kind of smells like gasoline. They didn't know what that was, I suppose. But then, like, you hop off the boat, set up your tent, and then there's a fucking crocodile there. Hang, they're biting your shit. You'd be like, go back, man. It's the craziest thing. It's some kind of scaly green reindeer with sharp teeth as sharp as a spear. That literally happens? I guess I don't have to imagine. Brother? That's China. <laughs> yes! Smartest streamer! <laughs> All right, Chibli, it's your game. Oh, this is my fucking era, bro. July 5th, 2002, Sony Pictures. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to go nuts on the table. You're going to say a Spider-Man. You might be right. I, I kind of thought Spider-Man came out Memorial Day weekend instead, but maybe that's Spider-Man too. Hang on, let's get this going. Spider-Man. Okay, that's fine. I was there. Actor one, Will Smith, July 2002. It's got to be Men in Black 2. Saw it in theaters. Rip off. Not a good movie and also 83 minutes long. You really, you pay $4.75 to go see a movie? That was like my allowance at the time. Go see the movie is 83 minutes long. Kids these days don't know how lucky they are with Oppenheimer, man. Okay, Sony Pictures Week 2, 73 million, starring Adam Sandler. 2002 did very well. I mean, it, it, it opened to like 36 mil in 02. So let's see, you got like The Water Boy, and then Big Daddy. Anger Management's like 04. I mean, I feel like there's almost no choice. It has to be like Little Nicky. As much as it pains me, it's not, it's not obviously, it's not Little Nicky. It's not going to be Longest Yard. That's like a, it's reeks of 04, 05. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. It's not going to be a crazy nice. That would be a Winter Andrew. Oh, it's Mr. Deeds. I saw it in theaters. I saw it, and it had the, it had the good sense to be about 103 minutes long, if I had to guess. Mr. Deeds, of course. Okay, it's the summer of eighth grade. What's poppin', Disney? Summer of eighth grade? The Walt that you was hanging with? Summer of eighth grade. It's like a Lilo and Stitch type beat. Hawaiian roller coaster ride, indeed. Indeed. 20th Century Fox. Didn't cross 100 million yet. Post X-Men, pre X2, X-Men United, starring Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise movie from 02. Mm. Mm. Minority Report. Great movie, saw it in theaters. Run, Mr. Anderton. 20th Century Fox, $19 million, just opened. 20 million, respectable, respectable opening, starring Shad Moss. In the genre of family comedy fantasy sport. It's a horse movie. Think, oh, it's Like Mike. I didn't see it in theaters, but I saw the poster when I saw Men in Black 2. Like Mike. 90th percentile. Try being born in 1988. It's an unfair advantage. Who the fuck is Mike? Michael Jordan. The LeBron James of basketball? <laughs> what are you talking about? Star-studded cast, too. It's got moss. It's got chestnut. All you need is some fucking foam, and you've got like a $150 meal at a two Michelin star restaurant. Don't forget Jonathan Lipnicki, a.k.a. Um, the Human Head Weighs 10 Pounds from Jerry Maguire.
I love when box office game gives me something like from 2001 to 2006. That's right in my fucking Q zone, bro. I don't like when we got video games. Video games just want to play video games all the time and every day. Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2. Learned all about them when they were new. You know that one? Klonoa. Dream Champ Tournament. No, Densetsu, no star medal. 97%? The Legend of Zelda. Tetris Trackers. That's a star. This is Super Mario. Original, original platform Wii. I said original platform. Holy fuck, I'm cooked, man. Super Mario Galaxy. One. Ooh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. You nailed it. You literally play games for a living? Not really. Like, if I'm a mail carrier, I don't, and like, I don't know the name of a truck, you'd be like, bro, you're in a truck every day. You're like, yeah, I'm fucking delivering judicial summons and shit like that. I talk for a living. The games are ancillary. You got it all backwards. Great analogy, perfectly adequate, perfectly cromulent analogy. Me making an analogy is kind of like, um, like Michael Jordan. Um, if I'm making analogies, it's kind of like when Michael Jordan gets the ball and he drives to the hoop and puts it in the hoop and they get two points. I know this shit. Oh, Osei la Fantasy, Photoshop, Découvrir. How about you, Assez vous, Adobe? And fucking Ferme la Bouche, because I already pay like, I don't even know, it's probably like 26 bucks a month for that. You're wasting your money. This is Game Dev Tycoon! I just needed a second for the brain to percolate. Yeah! <laughs> Say business. The hell is this, bro? Every year, like the first week of university, there would be an art and poster sale in, uh, the John Deutsch University Center has since been demolished and replaced with a, a more modern building at Queen's University in sunny Kingston, Kingston Ontario. 98% of the shit at the poster sale look like this. I feel like that's a risky proposition, man. Like you're really giving like 17 and 18 year old kids with autonomy for the first time ever the opportunity to socially like ruin their lives on day three of freshman year of college by putting this up in their dorm room fucking mermaid zeus or trident or whatever the fuck this shit is i got off easy i bought a flaming lips poster and i was like this is gonna be so cool everyone's gonna know that i listen to the flaming lips but back in 06 not that many people knew about the flaming lips when they were 18 years old it's all changed the culture's all changed now Should have just gotten the Scarface one. You know, the, the Scarface one where he's like. Or the one with the ladies, they're sitting on the edge of a pool and their backs are painted with the Pink Floyd albums. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or John Belushi wearing the college sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, or Bob Marley smoking a cannabis cigarette. Pulp Fiction one. Yeah, Pulp Fiction. Costanza on the couch. You got lots of them there. Boondock Saints. So true. She looking at me like that. Greece. Egypt. 
Cleopatra in the casino with gold sugar. Zeus, age of empires, the age of kings. That's Odin. Age of mythology. It's kind of fucked up though because Cleopatra is like real, right? That's Thor? Yeah. It's not Cleopatra. <laughs> oh, my bad. She's kind of, she's dressed like Cleopatra. She got the damn crop top on. Honestly, it looks like she's at Coachella this weekend. Probably not knowing any of the words to Girls and Boys by Blur, if I had to guess. I'm just getting that vibe. She looks like she's got more of like a Chapel Roan type thing going on. Which we, we respect and support around here. Topical. I'm just saying words. <laughs> hmm. Porsche. Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. Oh! Single player and multiplayer. It narrows it down. So on the PC, PlayStation, and or Game Boy Advance, it is not an action racing game. <laughs> okay. I'm going to guess it's on the Game Boy Advance. I'm going to say this is Advance Wars 2. Oh, it's probably WarioWare Mega Micro Games. Okay, confirm not on the Game Boy Advance. Probably not on the PlayStation 1, considering it came out after 2003. PC, PC, huh? PC, but no Wii U or no 3DS. Let's take something more modern. Maybe you've heard of a little game called Baldur's Gate 3. It's more recent than that, but it does utilize an isometric and or bird view. It's very simple. Planet Coaster. Ah, oh, but it's not going to be a simulator. Never mind. Hmm. Diablo 4. Diablo 3. Reaper of Souls. Hmm. Earlier than that. Okay. Earlier than that. It is earlier than 2014. Between 2003 and 2014. It's simple. It's a game by the name of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Oh, it's earlier than that. It has fantasy elements from 2003 to 2012. And it's an isometric and or bird view type game. RuneScape. My mistake. My mistake on that one. That's my mistake. It's not in the RuneTech engine. Let me get a hint on this. Let me get a hint. A role-playing strat... It's a Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Oh! <laughs> Yes. I don't know anything about the Hamva series at all. All I know about it is that I would go to my friend's house, like maybe year 2000, 2001. We'd be playing Diablo 2, and then he'd be like, oh, you guys like games? Why don't you check out this game? And then he'd bust out like Heroes of Might and Magic 3 or something like that. And we'd be like, what the, what the hell is even going on here? Great game. I mean, he was he was a gamer. All I remember is like, damn, dude, I want to go back to building like connect swords and beating the shit out of each other. Let people enjoy things. He's, I was polite. It's literally game of the year 10 years in a row. Same guy you were DMing yesterday? No, this is my friend's dad, bro. I'm not going to DM my friend's dad. He's married. You're married? Oh, yeah. That's true. The friend? No, I haven't talked to him in like 
probably 14 years, if I had to guess. Hope he's doing all right, though. Unless he's a bad person, in which case I wish him... I wish him the worst, quite frankly. I don't know. I mean, maybe he could still reform. Maybe I should call him. Six words from 2021. It's a comedy romance film. Loved by critics and audiences alike. Bottoms? They don't even have that shit in the database? Oh, it's a classic film. <laughs> it's a classic film festival. Hmm. Lovely Norwegian film. A man called Ove. It's not six words, so I'll give you that. A truthful, tender masterpiece about how coming of age has no age limit. Old. Old, 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 um, old, 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 old. Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Joachim Trier's fifth feature. Sad, sweet, extremely funny. Extremely funny, The Hangover Part 3. Concludes Joachim Trier's Oslo Trilogy. This is called Trondheim in January. It's called Druk. It's called Another Round. I simply don't know. The worst person in the world! Oh, it's a movie about... And then, insert the clip of me saying every single one of my friends' names, and then zzzp, zzzp. Zoop, and then send it out to the out of context rage factory. Fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes. Just for that, we're playing Puck Doku. Ooh! Vancouver Canucks Puck Doku? Uh, Anaheim Ducks, Canucks, get it twisted. Lucas Pisa. Edmonton Oilers, Canucks, get it twisted. Sam Gagner. WHL, Vancouver Canucks, get it twisted. Jet Wu. Jet, Jet Wu. Jet Wu. Jet Wu. Dude, he, he dressed last year. He suited up last year. They're not going to let me play Jet Wu? I got I to gotta think about this. I don't know who plays in the WHL, bro. How would I know? Anaheim Ducks, Stanley Cup winner. Mm, there's many options. Me personally, I got to go... <laughs> Edmonton Oilers, Stanley Cup winner. One moment, please. Kevin Glenn, Glenn Anderson. Bro, that's Burgalicious from Trader Season 2. WHL, Stanley Cup winner. Get it twisted, Burnaby Joe stays goaded. It's true, that's Bergy, right? Not my Burgalicious. Oilers Penguins. Should be super easy, bro. Should be easy. Should be easy. I don't know why I did that. Um, Penguins WHL. How would I know? Chris Letang. Ducks, Stanley Cup winner. I'm going back in the day. Give me a Lubomir Viznovsky. No! <laughs> really? Jakob Silverberg? No, no, no. It's, too, it's way too early. Um, um, it's a guy by the name of... Um, well, obviously... Timu Solani, Scott Niedermeyer, Jean Sebastian Giguere, but I, I was aiming for a bit of a deeper cut. I'll, I'll take Jean Sebastian Giguere. What? Evil Martin Brodeur can't hurt you. This one should be easy. WHL Canucks. I got to admit, I hate to play it. I'm sorry for this. I feel like because he was in Abbotsford, he must have played. I, I do that under duress. If I could think of anything else, okay, I would have not played Jake Vertanen. All I know is he's from Abbotsford, so he probably played in the WHL. 
ducks pens. Oilers penguins. Should be easy, man. Should be easy. <laughs> should be simple. Should be should, Ser, Sergei Samsonov, Alice Hemsky, Dwayne Rollison. I feel like Dwayne Rollison might have played for your ass for a bit. Fucking who else we got there? Sean Horkoff? I feel like Horkoff's a given. Okay. Well, nevertheless. <laughs> Dude! Uh, Nigerian flag? Chris Kunitz. That's a good pull. Chris Kunitz is a good pull. Paul Coffey, of course. And Tristan Jari. Mmm, of course. Jerry Manderville. Drake Barahowski. Charles Schwab, I think he quit to go into investing. Jeff Santarelli. This is crazy. I've been following the Canucks close for like, I don't know, 10 years. I barely remember Jeff Santarelli. I'm not even sure his name is Jeff. <laughs> he, I think he played like three games in... It's Mike? Okay. <laughs> he played like three games for the Canucks in 2014 or something like that. His name is Jeff. Jackman doesn't even have a damn picture. You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that. Yeah, but did you get today's Mario Hurdle in one? Okay, you know what? This one's for you, Apollo. Mario Hurdle. Rip Vod. Did you know that um, the lead singer of War, a.k.a. All... My friends know the low rider. Did you know that's the lead singer of the band Love from the 1960s? I had no idea until I found it in a Wikipedia rabbit hole. Who the hell's love? And I will be alone again tonight, my dear. You don't know alone again or? It's good, man. Forever changes. That's what I'm saying. Sounds like it slaps. It's a classic. Oof. That's got to be something from a sunny game. Like Super Mario Sunshine Gelato Beach. <laughs> newer than 2002 it's incorrect super mario's correct it's incorrect 3d platformer is incorrect okay super mario party me personally i gotta say that one's the shy guys perplex express i'm gonna say it's party plaza okay we go next it is on the switch I don't know this. It's stressing me out, though. It's kind of stressing me out. Mario Strikers charged. Pause menu. What am, why am I doing this to myself, bro? Why is it speeding up? It's speeding up like 2 BPM per bar. I don't know what the hell this is, man. Koji Kondo is going to fucking DMCA me. Submit. Skip. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Jump, jump, jump. The Pointer Sisters send their regards. I could have been playing Movie Grid this whole time, man. It's the most fun level they ever made. Someone's never played Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy. <laughs> Am I right, fellow elderly citizens? <laughs> oh, okay. Robert Pattinson begins with the... The Lighthouse. 
three or more word title. Twilight, A Breaking Dawn Saga, New Moon, Part 1. Everybody's going to go Part 2. That's the honeypot. 10 to 24, High Life. The Claire Denis Wet Fart. No disrespect. I'm sure it's good if you're smarter than me. Charlie Theron begins with The Devil's Advocate. Three or more word title. Impossible. <laughs> I did Mad Max Fury Road. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we just give. I, I can find a good one for that. The Italian Job. The Italian Bird. And then we go to an old classic, Young Adult, 2010 to 2024. Rafe Fines begins with the. Maybe you've heard of this one, the English Patient. Three or more word title. I have to go with the Constant Gardener on that one, my brother. 2010 to 2024. I mean, obviously, you got the menu. You got the Grand Budapest Hotel. Trying to think of... In Bruges must have been like 2008. It's strange days. It's probably not going to be strange days. Uh, I, I, I mean, listen, the menu and I, I'm going to hope that the menu pulled a lot from the and then I can sneak it. In. I can sneak it in in the final position. Oh, the king's man would have been a good one because everybody forgot that it existed. Pretty good. Nine of nine, top 11 percent. We'll take those. The old guard. People said the old guard. We need to bring back bullying. Wait, hear me out. Okay? We bring it back and only use it against people who ask if you've seen the new Netflix original movie. Hey, have you seen fucking this AI-generated movie starring Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, and The Rock? I haven't, and I never... You know, just they, they, that's the honeypot, bro. You could just open up Netflix and go to Seinfeld. You don't have to, oh, new movie starring Kevin Hart and fucking Amy Schumer? You hit the skip button on that bitch. You hit show me less. Okay, we take those. What about Knives Out? That's a different story. They bought it from distributors, okay? Or they, they bought it after film festivals. They didn't cook that shit up in Reed Hastings' supercomputer. There's a distinction. Sometimes they buy good movies and put them out. You never finished Glass Onion? I'll do you one better. I never even started. Workhorse. A noun meaning a horse used chiefly for labor as distinguished from driving, riding, or racing. <laughs> you better work, bitch. Polish, a verb meaning to make smooth and glossy usually... Mm, and you might want to check your pronunciation on that one. Erode, a verb meaning to... De Graze, a verb meaning to feed on growing herbage, attached algae, or... <laughs> to... To feed on growing herbage. Potato. A noun meaning sweet potato. I think we've had that one before. <clears throat> Summary. A adjective meaning comprehensive. Warrior. A noun... We had all these before? Is she okay? She's all fucked up. She doesn't know what she's doing. Right now, like, at the same time she's reading out these words, you know, she's helping a bunch of, like, motherfuckers do their email jobs. She's doing customer service for, like, Doubletree Inn right now. She's got 85,000 consecutive open tickets, and I'm asking her to pronounce... Flurry. A <laughs> it's noun meaning a easy. gust of wind. The word likely originates... Acetone. A noun meaning of... Palatable. A mm. adjective meaning agreeable to the... Agreeable to the taste buds. Farouche, an adjective meaning wild. Yep. Hey, Rin plays games. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Risibility, a noun meaning laughter. Risibility, a noun meaning laughter. Risibility, a noun meaning laughter. 
Risibility, <laughs> a noun meaning laughter. Risibility. Oh, motherfucker. That's a, that's a good hard word, though. I thought we had a chance. Tanager. A noun meaning any of numerous chiefly tropical American Oscan birds, family <laughs> Thraupidae, that are often brightly colored and inhabit mostly woodlands. Tanagra comes from New Latin, modified from Portuguese tangara, from tupi tagara. Tanager. One more time. A noun meaning any of numerous chiefly tropical American Oscan birds, American family Thraupidae. Thrombidae. That are often brightly colored and inhabit mostly woodlands. Mostly woodlands, okay. Tanagra comes from New Latin. New Latin. Modified from Portuguese tangara. Tangara. From tupi tagara. From tupi tagara. Tanager. A noun. Okay. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Edinburgh. A biographical name. Why is she so aggressive, bro? A biographical name meaning Duke of Edinburgh. She's pissed off. Desiccate. A verb meaning to dry up. Oh, one S, two C's. Farouche, risibility is a tough one today. It's a tough one. Do you ever play Birdle? One moment, please. Guess the Birdle in six. Each guess must be, must be a five-letter bird. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, eagle. Okay. Um, <laughs> stork. <laughs> wow. Still, and it's not in the bird list. Still. <laughs> it has to be a bird, too. It has to be a bird. S stirs. How about um, bird with an eye in the middle? Wrens. <laughs> it's not, there's no eye anywhere. Hawks. Not a good guess for a number of reasons. Gulls. <laughs> I just don't know that many birds, bro. Finch. Stilt. Stilt? I've never heard of this bird before in my life. No picture? That is quite, there's just some UX. We're taking this shit to the moon. We just need a picture to show up at the end. It's in staff. It is in staff. <laughs> It needs a picture and a Wikipedia link. Stat. And lose the dull. Just bird. It sounds better. I thought it was going to give you like bird sounds and you were going to have to figure the rest out. But like this, this is better too. Don't get me wrong. Oh, man. Food guesser. Meat, vegetables, meat broth. From the nation of Ireland. From the nation of France? From the nation of the United Kingdom? This is pissing me off, brother. Oh, Picklesteiner. It's from Germany, bro. This is just what they call stew in Germany. This is what all of my stews look like. This is, I don't make pickle steiner, I make beef stew. It is not. It's the same, man.
meat, vegetables, meat broth. That's stew, bro. There's not, there's no pickles in this bitch. I take offense to it. This is like some Thai curry. Usually yak's milk. Cheese with yak's milk. Holy cow. This is from Thailand. Warm. This is from China. It borders it. This is from India. It borders it. Amadachi. What are we what are we looking at here? That's not even the same thing. These are two different dishes, bro. Nepal? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Laos? That does not border India, man. Pakistan? Bhutan! That's tough. They got hands today, man. They got hands. Thank you to Sunkissed Guy, by the way, for the cooked photo. I don't know. Maybe that is Emadachi, but... I'm mad and I'm going to make it your problem. Gruel. Potato starch, milk, and possibly sugar. <laughs> I, I just couldn't even come up with a guess, man. Armenia. Warm, okay. Kazakhstan, cool. <laughs> uh, Kazakhstan is cool. Ukraine, warm. Belarus, warm. No, oh. Helmi Puro is Finland, bro. What are you doing? Also, not close to Armenia. Also known as Finnish semolina pudding. It's commonly served as breakfast or dessert in Finland. It's one country away. Okay, I see your point. This is gruel. What do you mean doesn't look too bad? Is flour and milk, bro. Like, there's, I'm not saying it's the worst looking thing on the planet, but I mean, they couldn't put like a, like some berries in it or something. Just because it's just slop, right? This is like the Nutra paste dispenser from Oxygen Not Included. Honestly, it's pretty good. I got a hard time believing that. Honestly, you couldn't put like some brown sugar on top of it or something. They didn't have brown sugar in the ninth century in Finland. Okay, but we fucking, we're past that now. No disrespect. Okay, you're going to be mad at me, but don't be too mad. Bobby Cannavale and um, Judy Greer. This shit is Ant-Man, bro. It's okay, sorry, my mistake is Ant-Man and the motherfucking Wasp, because that's Walton Goggins. We were so close, man. That one's a damn gimme. Gaggy! <laughs> Who's Maggie? Um, fucking Scott Lang's ex-wife. His co-parent for his daughter. Who's fucking named Cassie or something. Bobby Goosebaugh, who's Paxton. Uh, Cassie's new stepdad. Who like Scott Lang should have a problem with because he want he's like you're not a real dad, but actually he's a pretty nice guy. He is a cop though. But so is so is Ant Man in a way. He's like an intergalactic cop or something. 
Luis doesn't have a last name yet. They're saving that for the new Ant-Man. They're going to make him like uh, Louise Stark or something like that. And I'll be in the theater. <gasps> Dad, like Tony Stark? And then like three movies later, there's going to be a Disney Plus show where they're like, no relation. I'm going to be like, well, if, why would you fucking do that to me? Why would you do that? Why would you lie to me? You got my hopes up over nothing. Okay, check this shit out. Dev Patel, two-word title. <laughs> you really think I'm going to play Monkey Man? Slumdog Millionaire. Hmm. The Patrician's Choice. 15 to 2024. Hmm, Lion. $100 million plus at the worldwide box office. Nicole Kidman, two-word title. <laughs> Why is my ass... All I can think of is eyes wide shut. Let's go the others. The hours. Bobble, bobble, double, dribble, double, dragon, F-Zero, Moulin Rouge, The Invasion with Daniel Craig, Australia, where she had a wooden leg, editor's note, I don't know if that's true, The Invasion with Daniel Craig, oh, <laughs> 2015 to 2024, AMC advertisements, $100 million plus at the worldwide box office. That's a gimme, bro. Fucking bewitched. <laughs> you think so? This will be a hell of a poll. Will Ferrell led Nicole Kidman R rate? I think it underperformed. I'm betting on it underperforming. 05, that's not. Will Ferrell was not pulling Adam Sandler numbers in 05. Sorry. Sorry to say. Nicole Kidman. You make you think that you're looking at Aquaman. I summon fish to the dish, although I like the jelly Swiss, I like the sushi, because you never touch the frying pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 100 million. I mean, there's a billion possible answers here, but so let's simmer on it. Two word title, Ewan McGregor. Let's, let's chill a little bit. Let's chill. Let's chill. Chill a little bit. Ewan McGregor, two word title. Ewan McGregor, two-word title, $100 million plus at the box office. Two-word title, The Island. Michael Bay owns you, little bro. Released 2015 to 2024. This is where I wanted to play Dr. Sleep. 2X Kubrick. 3X McGregor. 13X Red Rum. 9X Grinch. $100 million plus at the box office. Now, we got some problems here, Okay. Ewan McGregor, he's got several easy ones. No doubt about that. Am I crazy to think that the Harley Quinn... No, that shit came out during the pandemic, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one for me to take a lark on. Nicole Kidman, $100 million plus at the worldwide box office. <laughs> Days of Thunder. I was a little scared of that one. Ewan McGregor, $100 million plus at the box office. Tank of the Clones. Dev Patel, $100 million at the box office. The Green Knight was not pulling those kind of numbers, man. What the hell else? I used all my Dev Patel movies. I should have played Monkey Man here and then played Slumdog Millionaire over here, bro. I thought I was getting ahead of myself. Hmm, the life of pie, mayhaps? My life in pink. Life of pie, life of pie. He ain't in that one, huh? Chappie! <laughs> I don't know. Chappie probably crossed 100 million. Green Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no way Lion crossed 100 million, so don't cry. Don't cry about that one. 
57%. People couldn't get a Ewan McGregor movie from 2000, from the last 10 years. People haven't heard about Dr. Sleep, bro. People haven't, they couldn't name a Nicole Kidman movie from the last 10 years. What's Dr. Sleep? Is the fucking sequel to The Shining. With uh, Mama Jessica in it. It sucked. It's actually like better than you would think given the premise or the concept at least of a Shining sequel. Plus it's got Cliff Curtis in it. Show some respect. Hmm. This one is just, this is, this is movie grid on steroids, man. This is movie grid on steroids. Captain America Civil War, The Hurt Locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Avengers Infinity War, Hurt Locker. Um, uh, Jeremy Renner. Ant-Man in The Hurt Locker. Um, 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 can I do, oh, Anthony Mackie, Anthony Mackie. Okay, take me back. Avengers Infinity War Hurt, Hurt Locker. Anthony Mackie, correct? <laughs> the Hurt Locker. Michael Pena? Is Michael Pena in the Hurt Locker? Nope, no, he's not. He's not, he's not, people, he's not. Jeremy Renner? Anthony Mackie? No, Anthony Mackie, of course. Of course, Ant-Man and Traffic. Gotta say, uh, Michael Douglas. Avengers Infinity War and Traffic. Gotta say, Benicio Del Toro. Me trying to say thank you for the fish at a Spanish sushi restaurant. White boy orders sushi in fucked up Spanish and Japanese, beaten to death on the steps of the restaurant. Captain America Civil War and Traffic. Traffic, Civil War and Traffic. Gonna have to say, from Catherine Zeta-Jones? Mm, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised, people. Who's that guy? Hurt? John Hurt? Maybe it's William? Hurt? All right, let's take a break on that one. Ant-Man, Oscar-winning actor. Michael Douglas. Avengers Infinity War, Oscar-winning actor. Uh, as of recently, Robert Downey Jr. Captain America Civil War, Oscar-winning actor. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Sorry. Bro, we're just missing one. I could beat the grid for the first time ever. Traffic and Captain America Civil War. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Captain America Civil War. Penelope Cruz. She's not in that. Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz. Michael Douglas. It's simple. Daniel Bruhl. Daniel Bruhl. Hmm. 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 This one, one second. So you got uh, Sebastian Stan, Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., Samuel L. Jackson, Samuel L. Jackson. So close. Success rate zero. Don Cheadle. <laughs> it's going to dawn on you any moment. It's not... Al anymore, it's Don. I'm trying to bring you back. It's a tough that, that that's always a tough one, man. That's always a tough one. What did I skip today? <laughs> Listed. Let's make some fun of someone's fucking house, bro. Are there bandle archives or do you need the the app access for that? Slash marker dolls. You need the app. Strands! Strands in the place where is the game that you love. Now find hints. 
Search for the hints to find the adult word. Search it strands. This and that. Okay. Skater. Quo. <laughs> Quorum. Quo. <laughs> Quar. Mm. That's the key, man. That's the key. Tripe. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trim. Hit me. Give. Take. Purse. Presence. I'm gonna I there's gonna be a presence somewhere here. Pre or gifts. Gifts. Presence. Presence. Ents. 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 Maybe not. Return. Return, errs, errs, mers, rumors, it's quo. <laughs> status quo, status quo, it can't be status quo. Card, a gift card, this and that, give, you give and you take. Oh, it's, it's probably pairs of opposites. Give, take, tall, short, tall, double L in here anywhere. Short, R-T, S-O-R-T, O-R-T, 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 O-R-T. Port and starboard, starboard. Least nautical streamer on the platform. Rear and front. Oh! Meet team trial <laughs> tribulations <laughs> trap traps rap raps error. Trial and error. <laughs> Ugh. Let's see you try it. Maps and compass compasses. Pairs. Part part and parcel. Okay. Came. Peace and war and love. Peace and war. <laughs> war? There's not a single W. Peace and quiet. And rhyme and reason. Mirrors and smoke. Partners. <laughs> Greatest player of, of strands in history. Oh, man. We got it. Four hints. New record. Have you tried telegraph plus word? What in the fucking Jean-Luc Picard is telegraph plus word, bro? Okay, let me see if my wife is ready to stream. <laughs> let me see. Hello. 
Are you ready to stream? Smiley face. You know what's a great feeling? Is like being a little hungry, but knowing that you have leftover fried chicken in the refrigerator. That's a great feeling, man. Fuck you. What the hell, man? <laughs> Did you know that there's a, a brand of snack cracker called Wheat Thins? You probably knew that. Did you know there's a bougie upscale cracker called Stoned Wheat Thins? I've been trying to figure out how to cook it and interweave it into some kind of joke. Like wheat thins? Hmm. Stoned wheat thins? <laughs> I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. I'm not playing Telegraph Plus Word, okay? No disrespect. I love the general audience dolls. Then people come in here and they're like, have you ever played periodic tabilium? And then it's like, Guess the fucking element on the periodic table. First, we give you nothing. Then we give you its atomic number. Then we give you, like, what family it is. Like, if it's a rare earth metal or a fucking halogen or something. And <laughs> I'm like, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. We need easier dolls. We need easier dolls made by worse web developers who get paid more money. And I'm not joking. Isaacal is canceled. Yeah, it turns out I don't know that much about the game, honestly. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Later. <laughs>